Hey, what's up? This is Robert Kelly. First off, I want to say if you're a fan of podcasting, uh, the whole uh, creativity and the whole genre, the whole podcasting world, you got to get laughable.com. It's the best app for people who love podcasts. You go there, you listen to my show, you like it, you subscribe, you can buy tickets to events, and all of a sudden you see somebody else you like, like Joe List, and then you can click on him and go to his podcast, and every other podcast he's ever done will be on there. Laughable is the, the functionality is amazing. The app is fun. Flawless, and if you own an OS device, you need to go right now. Get laughable.com. Check out my podcast on Laughable. Go now, Laughable. All right, now, another thing I want to say, real quick, uh, before we get the show started is uh, Comedy Cellar Vegas is happening. It, it took a little hiatus for a week, they had to fix some stuff. It's fixed, it's back. Rio at the Rio Comedy Cellar Vegas. May 10th and 13th, we got Mia Jackson, Des Bishop, Brian Moses, Mateo Lane, host Mark Cohen. Everybody who's went to this club so far is, is, is flipping out. It's the best club in Vegas. Hands down, the funniest show in Vegas. I don't give a fuck. I will say that. Hey, you go to Las Vegas, get your tickets now. Go to ComedyCellar.com, go to the Vegas site, and get your tickets. If you're going to Las Vegas, if you live in Las Vegas, if you live near Las Vegas, go to the ComedyCellar.com Vegas at the Rio right now. Unbelievable shows. And I want to say this. If you're on Lipson, if you support me here, we've had 700 people on Lipson supporting. I want you off. I want you to disconnect it unsubscribe. Stop giving money to the premium part of the lips in here. Go to patreon.com slash Robert Kelly. Support me over there. Everybody from Lipson, go to patreon.com slash Robert Kelly and do what you were doing here, there. If you want to give a little more and be part of the other levels, that's awesome. But if not, you'll get the show YKWD before anybody else. On lips and it comes Monday nights. You can give a go to the second level. You can do all that stuff. Get live from the shed once a month. A new episode next month. Ron Bennington. The month after that, we have Keith Robinson. We have so many uh, great guests coming on live from the shed. We also have one on ones with Joe List. We have one on one Cipher Sound. I'm doing with Louis J Gomez. I've got one up there right now. Uh, I believe with uh, Paul Verzi. So much great stuff on there. Patreon.com slash Robert Kelly. Go now. Cancel subscription at Lipson over here. Premium members. Premium members, go over there. Thanks for supporting me and all you do. Now let's get into the show. It's Robert Kelly's You Know What Do podcast on Riotcast.com. I do every time. You never even made it to there's a problem. I thought it was fun. It's not fun. It's fun. Oh, okay. It's not as fun as the first time you did it. All right. Uh, <laughs> Speaking of doing things that I think are fun. Yes. I'm in the uh, the old dog house. Why? My wife. Well, there was a bag of clothes with yes. coat hangers sticking out of it on the yes. floor in the living room yes. for like weeks. And so I was like, you know, I'm going to take the initiative. My wife is very busy. She's working two jobs, the whole thing. So I went and I dropped it off at the Salvation Army. Yeah. And it turns out it was her best clothing <laughs> that was supposed to go to the dry cleaner. <laughs> and oh my god. I called today and I was like, I gotta get it back. My you know, uh -huh. my, my mother's wedding ring was in there, whatever, and then they were like, No, that's off to the distributor. That's gone. Oh, forever. it's gone, yeah. Yeah, like they don't I thought when you donate clothes, it stays in that store and they just put it in the like I was like, Don't even worry, I'll go get it back. You're a fucking And they were like, That went off to the warehouse. <laughs> it's in, you know, Puerto Rico. Oh my god. There's some like refugee wearing my wife's three hundred dollar cashmere sweater. First of all, Puerto Rico, there's no refugees there. It's part of the um, United States. Second of all. But they're refugees from the storm. Isn't that no, a refugee? No, no. Survivors of the storm. Survivors, not refugees. But if you leave to go somewhere else, you're a refugee. Are you not? Where did they go? They, they come here. Anywhere. A lot of them come here. People take in family. Like there's refugees from Katrina can, that moved to Houston. Am yeah, I but wrong they, about they that? They can oh. come here. They're American citizens. That doesn't. That's not what refugee means. Yeah, refugee means a Cuba, a Cuban refugee. What's the somebody who no, swam? A Cuban refugee is from Cuba. Yeah, somebody swam here on a fucking tire. What's the word I'm looking for? I think it's refugee. 
No. Like a person that the people that from New Orleans Homeless. that moved to Houston <laughs> were Katrina <laughs> refugees. Yeah, a you, refugee you, is a person who has been forced to leave their country in order to escape a right. war, persecution, or natural disaster. Thank you. Their country, but that's our country. Yeah, yes. but it's our country, so, so it's not forced. a refugee. It's, they're not leaving their country to come to another country because they of left Puerto Rico to come here. You fuck. That's a different country. No, it's not. No, it's not. It we, is a different country. No, it's a it's a U.S. territory. Okay, so Puerto Rico is not a country. No, no. it's a U.S. territory. It's U.S. They, they have citizenship in the United, yeah. United yeah. States. They have citizenship. Yeah. Yeah. They, can, they can vote. So yeah. I can just move to Puerto Rico. Right. Yeah. All right. Yes. Don't recommend it. The more you know. Yeah, I wouldn't recommend it. It's full of refugees, but yeah. <laughs> but aren't there also... <laughs> Speaking of Puerto Ricans! <laughs> Woo! I was for Puerto... a while. I was waiting for something interesting. <laughs> and that's the cute uh-huh. But you can use the term refugee for somebody that has left their home. Yeah. Why don't we yeah, ask migrants. a real Puerto Rican? Migrants. We have uh, a Puerto do Rican. Do we know one? Yeah, you're Puerto Rican. No. The Puerto Rican rattlesnake. Come on, doggy. Listen, <laughs> doggy, doggy. Um, do you, oh, you got new wireless. Set. Where's the ones I gave you? Throw them out? Uh, I think I lost them. Ooh. Yeah. Um, all right, let's go through the list. Mikey, who's on the show today? Oh, we have the Puerto Rican. Oh, I'm sorry. Sorry. Yeah, that's all right. You can go that way. Sorry. We have the Puerto Rican rattlesnake, Louis J. Gomez. Hello, Louis J. Gomez. <laughs> Hello, crackers. Are you <laughs> high or did you just get punched in the face a bunch? High as it's fuck. Crack. Oh, Jesus. <laughs> yeah. it's crack. Of course he's high. He's not even talking to the microphone. <laughs> <laughs> he just thinks we can hear him. No, because you, your mics are always a little hot, so I figure I'll step back a little. bit. I'll use a little mic diction. That's true. Mike Diction. Mike Diction. I like that. He was the coach of the Bears in the 80s. <laughs> <laughs> and we have the truth, Joe List. Thank you. Joe List coming in with some fucking uh, historical uh, wrongs. <laughs> but I was right about the definition of a refugee. Wouldn't yeah, you but say? Not, I, we wouldn't call them refugees, dude. We wouldn't I would call, call them, them refugees. refugees. No, we wouldn't. Yeah, I think we you would. would. No, we well, they're wouldn't. seeking refuge. I mean, in the word. Thank yeah. you. That's what you're talking about. <laughs> well, you don't have to live like one. So, and you're next right. to him, we have from the O oh, Rick documentary, we have Rick Chrome. Oh, hi, Rick everybody. Chrome. <laughs> yeah. I thought you guys went to the future and got Dan Soder. <laughs> <laughs> yes, I'm Dan. Dan Soder's dad. Actually, I, I asked him to call me daddy. <laughs> no luck yet. <laughs> I'd love it if you and Dan hooked up. Oh, wouldn't it be great? Oh, just a nice hot photo of Dan <laughs> arching his back on a fucking twin bed. Yeah. Too detailed. Okay. <laughs> a twi- Why does that have to be a twin bed? Because yeah, it's seriously. funnier. The oh. word twin is better than All right. queen. Okay. Fold up. Would have been overdoing if I said queen. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, we're redundant. Whoa. Um, speaking of Dan, last night, his episode of Billions... Oh yeah! Was fucking great. I never watched it. it. You don't watch your friend's Me show. Either. I feel bad actually. I was just talking to him. I was like, I gotta watch this show. Yeah, I heard it's, it's a good great. show. I'm catching up on American Horror Story right now. I can't be bothered to bring another show into the rotation. I would be a phony if I just watched the show because my friend Dan was on it. It's it's one of my favorite shows on TV. Right. I mean, and I had a big fight with Tim Dillon about this fucking show, and I and I take back. Tim was like, "It's not The Wire. It's not Sopranos." It's what was up he, what was the it's argument up there. about? Well, you know, Tim, he's he an was elitist. Like, he was like, your favorite show is definitely Cake Boss. <laughs> that was me calling you fat in Tim's I, voice. I, I know. Like, I'm doing it, characters now? I'm not going <laughs> to laugh at it if it's not funny. I don't want right. to give it to you yet. You don't deserve it yet. <laughs> Can I just put this out there? I, I want to let you warm up a little bit. <laughs> are you going to keep that on the whole show? Because i got to accept if you are. Uh, no, what, I'll take it what? Okay, great. What is bandolier? Yeah, it felt like it's not a bandolier. You cocksucker, you're supposed to give me a it's bandolier. It's a bandolier. No, it's not a bandolier. <laughs> I got one for you. When you come to the party, I got one. You can have it. It's a clutch purse. <laughs> <laughs> it's a man clutch. Oh, Max's oh. birthday party. Yeah, I'm coming. I know you. I got your invitation. I'll be there. Um. So, anyways, I think it's one of the greatest shows on TV right now. Max's birthday. The right. No, the writing is amazing. And I, I you know, Tim you guys are doing a, a pilot out of Max's birthday. That's pretty cool. Tim. You just did his joke that bombed. Serpico? Now you got it. <laughs> <laughs> it's all yours. Um, There'll be diversity. What do you mean? At Max's birthday. There is diver- I always have diversity there. That's what I'm saying. I Stop being have- so confrontational. I ha- Am I really being <laughs> confrontational? I'm like, yeah, there'll be diversity. Like, there will be diversity. I'm like, well, because that's, that's I'm a saying. scary thing to say to a white guy in, in 2018. I know, but I'm saying it genuinely. Do you we'll think there's going to be a Me Too story at Max's birthday party? So anyways, we... Uh, <laughs> <laughs> That wasn't a joke. That was a serious. That's joke. Lewis's idea of diversity. We got a black guy. We had sexual harassment. <laughs> oh my God! Look at Gabby's headshot. Are you kidding me, Gabby? You're not that hot. 
Thank you. In real life, you don't think she's hot? She's very hot, but not the, the no, headshot. We, we argued the other day. Just you bring said that up she after was hot. She is hot, but we her headshot. We argued shot. like tooth and nail. He was Whoa, saying you she's argued hot. against it? Yeah, she did. Yeah, that's what I was you going for. Oh, um, you know, why, you don't think she's hot? Pretty. I would say she's pretty. She's hot. She, but she, Come on. But she dresses, she dumbs she, it all down. She by doesn't wearing, got great boobs. She wears this ridiculous aunt outfits. <laughs> you know what I mean? These fucking, you know, she could dress, she could enhance everything she has, but she downplays But that's the sign has. of a beautiful woman because she's not, most insecure, ugly women are trying to fucking put makeup on, make their tits look good. Mm -hmm. You know, not trying to look all fucking boxy and squared and boring. But Gabby doesn't give a shit. She just fucking goes for it. I yeah, love she it. She comes out and looks like somebody who sells flowers on the side of the road. Yeah. This shirt is cool. It is yeah. cool. Who do you think is more attractive for their gender? Me or Gabby? Definitely Gabby. Are Definitely. you out of your mind? You're <laughs> ugly. <laughs> You're not even on the chart of fucking good looking. Yeah, you have an ugly mouth and your fucking hairline goes way back. You have wrinkles in your forehead now. I just noticed that. Joe, I yeah. think you're gorgeous, so. Thank you, Gabby. You you're hot. I think you're smoking. You think you're Joe Finally. You, Finally. You think Joe Liss is gorgeous. Yeah. Gorgeous. Thank you. you look at me. You used the word. Uh, oh, it's the liar alarm. You, <laughs> that's going off. Come on. I, that's funny. I don't know if you guys are not laughing at Louis. He's coming in Dog, hot. Yeah, I'm, I'm, I'm coming to, in hot. Don't it even always defend takes five. It. No, I'm not defending it. You're, doing, it. you're doing good. I, I thought you came in with a good one. It takes five minutes for the room to adjust to the heat that I fucking bring. Before I came, <laughs> before I came, they were talking about uh, for I, I stood I stood behind that curtain for a full two minutes. Yeah. So them talking about if Puerto Rico is a commonwealth or a country, it was boring. But doesn't it make me sick? I mean, doesn't it make you sick that Lewis really is has some intelligence? Because the fact that he knows commonwealth, we said we're, territory. We were, saying, we, like were, we're, we were just saying shit that we learned in fucking like second grade. This fucking Puerto Rican on a skateboard comes in stone. Dude, it's a commonwealth. <laughs> Doggy. What he's is like, a commonwealth? I don't know, but that's what it is. He's like the community college teacher you always wanted. Yeah. Just some fucking asshole. Dude, if I was a teacher, I would, I would fuck my kids. I really would. <laughs> your kids or your students? My, my <laughs> students. A big difference. There's no way. If you were like a high school teacher, because I would be a hot high school teacher. I'm not that good looking for like a man or like a dude. No. In life. But high school teacher, I would be like Mr. Gomez. Every girl would want to suck my dick, and there's no way I wouldn't give into it. Really? Oh, 100%. You wouldn't be able to give into it at all? Dude, fucking nine, ten years what old, it, just fucking tight. What if it was a girl oh that looked like... Oh, Lord. What if it was a girl that looked like Mike? Oh, Chris Hansen is here. <laughs> what if it was an artist? <laughs> what if it was a painting girl from the arts class upstairs looked like Mike came over and was like, I'd like to suck your dick. Mr. Oh, Christ. Mr. Mr. Uh, What's your name again? I have soft hands. Gomez. Are you going to go by Gomez, Mr. Gomez? Yeah. Okay. If, he, if he says it with more confidence than any said, anything he said in his roast battle last week. We're going to talk about this. There's a couple uh -huh. things we have to talk about. First of all, Rick Chrome has a movie out. Oh, yeah. uh, have you seen it? Anybody seen it? I've seen it. I've not. You're in it. I'm in it. One Night in Rick. <laughs> no. <laughs> that's a, Which that, is a deal. That's a, little, yeah. that's a Vietnamese <laughs> boy from the East Village has that movie. Uh, <laughs> it's on his iPhone. <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> I, uh, Why I Walk This Way. <laughs> Yeah. Rick Chrome, meet Rick Chrome, comedies every man. Oh, now this that. is this came out. Uh, it's embarrassing, isn't it? It's, it's not embarrassing. This tell us what the movie's about, Rick. Well, it's it's a documentary, you know, that uh, our friend Dustin Sussman did about mm -hmm. uh, about me, my years at the cellar since 1984, and it's a it's, it's kind of a history of um, of the comedy cellar and me. And in fact, I've done a lot of different things and. Kind of asks the, uh, examines the question is you know what defines success is it is it making lots of money and being famous or is it doing what you love avoiding for AIDS years? for thirty years well that was a good one too that yeah. was I don't know how I did that but uh, <laughs> I was a, I was a top that's how <laughs> if you really want to know are you a top oh yeah oh my god yeah, I am, I am oh tired god. of this of this rumor that I'm some sort of a bottom <laughs> never <laughs> I I'm I am a silver daddy with a lovely penis and lots of Viagra. I am. He's trying to tempt everybody in this room. I don't want a lot of Viagra. If a guy's fucking, I want to be a soft in the middle of it and be like, all right, it's not that bad. You don't want. Hmm. You got too high before the show. You yeah. Because you're blinking. You're like this. No, I'm, I'm good. Look at you blinking. You're like, uh, 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 like you're yeah. blinking. You can't stop blinking. Stop it. Keep your eyes open. There you go. Nice. Um. That's what I say when I'm fucking somebody. What? Nice. Keep, Keep your, your eyes, eyes open. open. <laughs> <laughs> They're like, please, no. Stop blinking. <laughs> I wanna, where can I see it? I didn't even know Rick Rowe was gay until one night <laughs> Pete Curley walks off. He goes, ah, this guy's gay. I go, <laughs> I go, Rick's not gay. He goes, what? 
And he goes, come here. And he puts me in the room. Rick's on the piano going, you can sacrifice your sacral sin. And then the back. I was not doing something from Gypsy. I was doing doing my own song. You're gayer than I am to know that song. Uh, Well, we all know that. (laughs) I'm a bottom top. (laughs) That's right. Uh Very fluffy on the bottom. (laughs) So this movie is about basically... I mean, do you have to be a Ray Romano or a Jerry Seinfeld to uh, be successful in this business? Sure. Or can you be a Rick Crome that's been around for 30 years and still around and, and working the clubs and, and doing theater and doing all the stuff you love to do? And, yeah. and uh, do you have a Porsche? No. No. Do you have a mansion? No. no. I hope this goes on for 40 minutes. <laughs> <laughs> do you, you have, have a savings account? A microwave. No. But, yeah. uh, no. <laughs> but I do have a documentary. Do you <laughs> do you have to drink soup twice a day? <laughs> twice a day. <laughs> Three. <laughs> do you have suicidal tendencies? Yes. 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 Do, yes. do you have to pay for dick now? <laughs> yes. 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 Uh, do you beat no, no. dead horses? <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> that was fun. That's pretty good. That was really too smart for the room, Joe. Was... You might be right. Yeah. That was too uh, smart for the room. Dick, dick, oh, no. Dicks and anal and farts. <laughs> anyway, you see. Like Lewis's next album. <laughs> dick anal fart. Bloop, bloop. Listen. Sorry. First album. By the way, I've never really done it that way. That's dope. <laughs> you just fucking come up. What up, nigga? <laughs> oh, my right. God. What, now we're not what? We got a Jesus. gay, we got a black. It's great. You're not black. I am Afro-Puerto Rican. We talked about this. you sit still? You got a man spread, and then you're moving back and forth. So you oh, you're such a fucking me. cuck liberal fucking bitch. <laughs> but you, man you spread. Doesn't even make sense. But man you keep spread. fucking tapping and touching. We have oh, no you're gayer so than sometimes. Rick. I'm right. sorry, Rick. Let's I'm sorry that this queer right here has to sit next to you. There's a lot of bumping over here. I can't focus. I'm sorry, Rick. You want to beat up this fucking queer with me? Come on, let's do it. <laughs> Connie. Well, you hold him down. <laughs> <laughs> Dude, I'm going to help Rick rape you. I hate you. That's hot. <laughs> fucking bitch. But I would do it politely. <laughs> what the fuck is You just went happened? from zero to 60, dirty. You warmed up. Man, you you warmed up. I'm in. You fucking... You fucking, he's just saying that you twisted a little bit. You fucking, he's rape, you're raping him with Rick Crumb. Don't, don't ever cross me, dude. <laughs> I'm going to fucking rape you with Rick Crumb. You're going to be a party in prison. <laughs> uh, well, so Rick- anyway, Bob, Robert, Bobby, Bobby Booby, Bobby Baby. I'm sorry, that just made me laugh. Yeah. <laughs> that was fucking cracking me up. <laughs> you, would you Man call spread. him a, a cuck what? Cuck liberal fag, I think. <laughs> Uh, go ahead, Ricky. What are you talking about? Speaking of liberals. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> I'm only one of those things. Yeah. So anyway, just a long story short, we're, we're, uh, uh, the movie's done. You've seen the movie. We're yes. in the festivals now. we won a few awards, Doc NYC. We're going to be in the Soho Film Festival. That's coming up. And then uh, and we're doing a big event a week from today at the uh, at the Village Underground, Rick Rom and Friends, just to raise awareness of they, they're doing a GoFundMe effort for the uh, uh Licensing funding and things like that. Well, so for, they, now, is this is this is this where did what? Where does this film go? What is the life of this film? You've done the festivals. You, it's been out for a year now. And where where do you it want hasn't it to been go? In that many places. It's only been like th- three or four. Are you trying to get so it on Netflix? Yeah, but you gotta you gotta cover the licensing. There's a lot of film clips in the in the thing that needs need to be covered. So you need to pay for all the stuff. You need stuff. to pay for that first. You might make it back in the back end, but you right. gotta pay for it. First, how much? So. How much? How much money are you looking to raise? I think they're looking to raise about eighty thousand. Eighty fuck. <laughs> um, sorry, <laughs> Jesus think, Christ. Well, I know. What'd you I use? know because of uh, the Rolling Stones music. <laughs> right, that, that, Louis, <laughs> that Louis clip ain't cheap. Cheap. Why do you have to fucking pay for that? Why can't Louis have, just give it to you? He can't. He doesn't. Uh, oh, he I got fired. He I don't think he. From what everything. happened to Louis? <laughs> <laughs> Louis, I what? I don't know. I don't know the the finances. The thing. last just, time Louis just gave uh, something to somebody. I'm not. I'm, that's he, a, that's he, a stretch. He asked, and they said no, and he said okay, and then they fired him. And then, he, how do you like that? Yeah. All right. Because. But I anyway, failed. I failed on the joke. I'm sorry. Uh, it's okay. I tried to help you out of it, but then Thanks. I. Yeah. Sometimes these things fucking happen. We take chances. I'm just doing my plug. Then we can fuck them. 
No, listen. <laughs> well, this can is I where see we, the Can I say something? This is where we do the plug. Yeah. We just go in and out of it on yeah, the show. Know, but the people are listening. Let, do we have more a, memorable is this, that way. Is this a uh, trailer for it right here, or is this the movie? Uh, there is a trailer on the website. Can we watch the trailer? Yeah. How long? Can we? Can, you mind it's checking a, out the trailer a, for a second? It's a minute and a half. I would love to see it. Uh, on the website. I want to see the full movie. And that is the website. So scroll down if you can. Oh, God. That uh, there should be a, or maybe it's on the on the Facebook one. Okay. Okay. Let's see if this. Trailer. I actually saw the movie. It's a great movie, and you know, it's so funny because we all. Uh, who made that? Is it what's his name? Make that. What that that drawing? Yeah. Uh, I don't know. So some friend of Dustin's did it, and yeah. they, the first one they I did, know. I was like, was a picture of me oh, thirty pounds don't heavier. Don't put the thing on the for people to see. Well, he's gonna He'll take, take it off. Huh? Take Zach will take it off. Oh, but they're watching live. It's not on there right now. Oh, okay. Actually, they're not yeah, stupid, God's Bobby. Sake. Trust them a little bit. Imagine yeah, he, they came in and they were like, did the set of jokes? Well, he did. We're going to get to that. Oh. <laughs> Fuck me. I literally thought he was going to be dead today. I thought we were going to come in and it was going to be a memorial. <laughs> we, were cl- we were close. Because he cut his wrists. We were close. Wrist. We were close. But he pulled it out. Oh, Rick. Now, do you have to pay for licensing for stealing the Comedy Cellar logo? No, we, we, we just swiped it. Oh, okay. There it is right <laughs> there. Make it big first. Um, but I don't know. You want to watch this whole thing? How, what, like how long is it? Two minutes. Two minutes. I'd like we to see we it. have two minutes two to kill on the show. Right, two hour podcast. Yeah. We need to stretch. Yeah. Well, we don't need to stretch. Yeah, we're right. not that interesting. Ready? Uh, well, <laughs> I don't know. It embarrasses <laughs> me to watch I'm a real this. I'm going to tell the truth. Great. I know. You're a real ass fucking Puerto Rican around us. Hit it. It's buffering. It's buffering. Yeah. Stop one second. See, that clip cost a lot of money. Stop one second. Who? What happened to him? Can we do the I have next no one? Idea. Can we do the next documentary on uh, whatever this guy's name is? I have no idea what his Shit. name is. This was 1990 or 91. Showtime Comedy Club Network. This is Showtime that Showtime. we know today. Yeah. So this is almost like uh, like a like a five people on the show, two yeah. people like they would do they would do uh, a special with uh, comics and different clubs all over the country, and then they'd splice it all together for a show. Where is Where are you doing this? This is Rags to Riches in New York, which was on 53rd Street. I so, don't know if you remember Rags no, to Riches. No, I do not. It's before so, your time. Was it a Was it a famous club, like the, the Comedy Cellar? It, yeah, it, was, it, it wasn't It was as famous as the, as the Cellar, but it was right up there with, uh, uh, they were, I think they were in business for like uh, almost 10 years. Really? And I did a New Year's Eve there, opening for Jerry Seinfeld. Wow. In like the 90s, and he was... It was before his show. So you were the on. original Ryan Hamilton. Yeah, but uh, <laughs> they paid. They were paying Jerry. Uh, Except less twenty five thousand dollars for the night, and I was making a hundred. So you know, hundred dollars for the night for New You Year's heard it here first. Year's Jerry Year's Seinfeld right. is a cheap Jew. No, he didn't pay. <laughs> he could have kicked you back a grand easily. He could have. He could have easily. Had, How much did he get paid again? Like twenty five thousand. Wow. Get out night. of my face, Rick. <laughs> Beat it. All right, let's watch the That's what I trailer. Heard. That's what I heard. Composer and lyricist, put your hands together for Mr. Rick Crom. Rick Crom. Oh my God. Um, Rick Crom. Rick Crom, everybody. You ask people from Brooklyn what they do, they go, "What do you need done?" You know, so. Rick is a uh, what we call, I guess you could say, he's an Amadeus type. You know, the mad genius. I owe a lot of uh, material to Rick Crom. Rick could do uh, jokes to go up <laughs> and host a show, but he could also write funny songs. All you had to do is hear Rick at the piano. Belt out a note in this Broadway style. Oh, this guy's like the real deal. He was kind of the face of the cellar, him and Bill Grunfest, obviously. Still, to this day, the best regular MCs I've ever seen in a comedy club. Rick was like ready to have his own variety show smooth. The thing that amazes me is he's not a household name that everybody knows. I was trying to be an entertainer. I wasn't trying to be a comedian that changed the world. Did I ever have my own TV show? No. Was I ever on The Tonight Show or The Letterman Show? No. If you work hard, you get where you get, and some people get here and some people get here, and that's the part that you can't figure out. Life is long, so we'll see what happens with Rick Crow. You're fucking 40 years in a row working. Who does that? Jack Nicholson, Al Pacino, Rick Crow. I don't know what this is called, but I think here's the title. Rick Rome, long overdue. Oh, Rick. Oh, Rick. Oh, Rick. Oh, Ricky. Oh, Rick. Oh, Godfrey. Yeah. He never he never doesn't overdo it, huh? No. No. <laughs> Even with yep. long hair. 
That was great. <laughs> I want to watch this. That was amazing. Leave that up right It looks really cool. Forget it. Yeah. It does it automatically. Um, <laughs> it's a funny book, Godfrey. <laughs> <laughs> but he, he, he overdoes it, but he gets the last <laughs> motherfucker on that little clip. Uh-huh. That's so. the only black guy. <laughs> they put him at the end. Uh, Keith is black. <laughs> yeah, but, uh, <laughs> What, did you have a stroke? You didn't see him? <laughs> hey. <laughs> Hello, folks. <laughs> was that before stroke Keith or after stroke Keith? Uh, before. Wow. Thank I, I thought God. it was after. Yeah, seriously. I thought he was all, he was all stiff. <laughs> That's how, the only way they can keep He's the movie under two hours. <laughs> <laughs> So this movie's out there. Are you? I, there. Can I ask you a question? Sure. Are you? Are you happy? Are, do you, are you okay with your success? Yeah. Or do you still chase that in your brain? Do you still want your own show? Do you still want maybe to be the guy getting the fifty thousand dollars for a new year? Do you want to be the the all these people that you had in there? I mean, the Billy and the and the and the um, Ray Romano, blah blah blah. Do you want that still? Or are you? Hey, I'm just happy where I'm at. I'm at. Well, you have to be happy with where you're at. I mean, yeah. I, I, because otherwise, I'd be always discontent. But you know, I don't know. I'm I'm not Ray Romano. I'm not Bill Burr. I'm I'm not that good. Not them. You know? you, but, what you do you know. mean you're not that good? Oh, well, I mean, I'm not on their level in terms of of the things that they do. I do so many different things. Mm-hmm. You know, between the Broadway and the comedy and the songwriting and the and the acting and stuff like that. That I'm happy doing all those other things right. on the scale at which I'm doing them. Right. Uh, sure, I'd love one of them to, to take off. You know, I'd like to you know, be a regular on a TV series and all of that stuff. Right. Uh, I was going to be a regular on House of Cards this season, but really, <laughs> yeah. are you really? I was. Where, where were you? I was. What were you going to do? I was playing a lawyer. Uh, they brought back a character I did three seasons ago, and I I was Shit. I went down I went down to uh, Baltimore, shot a lovely scene with Robin Wright in the Oval Office scene. Love uh, her. Lava, right. She's, she's fantastic. Beautiful. Right. And then two yeah. weeks later, the scandal broke. All that work got canceled. You know, so I too have been fucked by Kevin Spacey. <laughs> wow. <laughs> Hashtag I too. I too. Me too. But uh, you know, that's but, fucking sucks. I know. Well, that's the business. You know, you that's never fucking, know. You can, but you get your medical after that. It's fucking a season. For a year, yeah. For a great. year? That's yeah. a lot of money. It's a lot of money. I know. I'm paying and like $1,000 a month and I'm fine. Jesus Christ. How about that? That's, that's what being 61 does. It. Oh, you're 61? $1,000 a month. Yeah. Look oh, great. See? Yeah. Thank you very much. Ross, you and Voss are the same age. That's right. That's right. Jesus Christ. If I dyed my hair like he does, I'd be. He said, <laughs> I don't I don't dye it. What's dye? He goes like this. What's dye? <laughs> what? <laughs> What's You're, dye? That's your defense. You're claiming you don't know what hair what? dye is. <laughs> <laughs> okay. But he's in great shape, though. He's yeah, great Me shape. Not. Physically. Physically, yeah. Uh, not career wise. Oh, well, emotionally. <laughs> emotionally. Uh, yeah, emotionally he's not. Um, well, dude, yeah. I hope you uh, raise 80 fucking grand. It's amazing what these clips cost. Mm-mm. That Showtime clip probably cost a few grand. Wow. You can't just ask them to donate it. You can't, the go, can't the GoFundMe. Yes, and they say no. Yeah, but, but. couldn't the GoFundMe be, <laughs> look, man, give me this for free? Yeah? No? I yeah, you could. I, I suppose you could. So after I'm you, not involved in that kind of that part of the production. I'm, so this could go uh, to sh- this could go to Netflix. Sure. Uh, what if you sold it? Why don't you try sell it to Showtime so you can just have that? Yes, that would be nice. Yeah. I'm all for it. Yeah. But then he still it, needs seventy seven thousand dollars. <laughs> <laughs> if only one of us had like a dad with a lot of money. I love math jokes. <laughs> 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 that joke had to be funny. Seventy seven is the only way that was yeah. funny. Uh, <laughs> I'm a real pro. One day I'll have a documentary about me. You will. You will. Yeah. yeah. Maybe. Hang around. Who long killed Lois Gomez? <laughs> <laughs> Who killed it's the Lewis J. Gomez, you fat fuck. <laughs> <laughs> but that's a tapping the knee. What is this? It's killing me. <laughs> All right. Are we done with this segment? It's great. Rick's awesome, but let's fucking start calling each other gay and fags and fucking the N word. And can we get moving? What are we doing here? I always why like don't, a guy. Uh, that. Why don't you like who you try I to like Rick. I like his documentary, but I'm telling you right now, the fucking fans are going, they turned off the show. They're not going to like him anymore because you're fucking inside the actor studio. And they didn't why? like him the first time. I, I, I think that he he's was- cool. It's you. <laughs> <laughs> Take control of the fucking ship. Let's we'll start cursing at each other. No, listen, you <laughs> sick of it. I like a guy that uses the N word and then later says N word. <laughs> yeah, you fucking dirty spick. I, uh, <laughs> Whoa! <laughs> why is that S word? Why does it have the same? Nobody uh, cares. Why? Why does that not have the same? Because uh, Puerto Ricans um, are cool. Hispanic people don't really give a fuck. We are too busy dealing with life. Black people don't even give a fuck about the N word. It's just fucking crackers. It's people like Gabby. What? Yeah. Have you ever said? Why the me? N- Why not you- Joe? Have you ever said the N word? No. 
Say Ever? It. No. Say in it. your life. No. Let the air out of the tires. Because you say it right now, then you're like, holy shit, now I don't feel all that animosity every time a black's around. Uh, I never, no. That's why I Leave say it so alone. much. Don't you do guys, it. You guys all hold it inside, and I, then I, I say it every day a few times, so then when I'm around blacks, I'm like, you guys are just people like me. Have I'm ever, a Jew. Have you, He's have not. You ever, have you ever driven no. with me? <laughs> 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 I let you all fall, you fucking queers have it. Um, you've oh, never, you're it, man. You've never said... No. The, lying. Why would I lie? Not, I don't think it's a bad thing. Don't be pressured into saying it from this fucking oh, loser. Oh, I, I feel no pressure. Yeah, don't let this fucking asshole pre- can we, pop can we, your N-word, Cherry. Can we sing Bon Jovi <laughs> songs but replace some of the words with the N-word? I don't know what you mean. Um, whoa, we're halfway there. Whoa, nigger on a prayer. <laughs> it's... <laughs> And Almost. That was an ER. And we're canceled. It's take on. my hand and we'll take it, I swear. Mike just left because he doesn't like the N word, well, actually. He really does get offended with it. Yeah. And that yeah, was an ER wife, version. His, uh, <laughs> yeah. Didn't like that. It was really terrible. What? That song. <laughs> that wasn't bad. What are some other songs? I don't remember any songs. Come on. You don't remember a Bon Jovi song? You're one. fucking lying. Hold on, let me think. Shot through the heart. And you're to blame. You gave love a nigger. You try to change your voice <laughs> so, when, so when they come and get you later. <laughs> nigger, 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 wonka, wonka, nigger. This is nigger. like he's insane. The, he's the. I, I don't I know. I can't. He, I know. <laughs> it's like, how do you promote anything? What? How do you have any show with this fucking stupid Shut idiot up. on it? You, you, I'm because fucking the N word, you're not black, yes, and the N word, right. and then and then we, we can't even use this footage now. You no, have to I cut know. it out. All I know is show tunes. <laughs> Tell you what, you complete it. The hills are alive with the sound of niggers. <laughs> 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 Love it. Now I'm safe, and he's the one taking the blame. I will do this. For, we'll do a podcast together <laughs> off this premise. <laughs> Are you in your mind? Keep on going, Rick. <laughs> what, what else you got, Rick? <laughs> now, by the way, the fans, all their ears perked up, they're tuned right. in. Rick's Boom. back in their fucking good oh, graces. Yeah. They're going to buy his documentary right now. <laughs> Garen fucking teeth. That's how you sell a documentary. What else you got? Maria. I just met a girl named Maria. She's a dirty nigga. No, no, no. no, 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 no. Is that how it goes? I never said that. Oh, she is Puerto Rican. You're right. <laughs> Right. She's oh, a wait. dirty speck. <laughs> this fucking kid. How about is this? <laughs> yeah, good, Joe. <laughs> Joe, you got Joe, a show please, tune, Joe? Please think of your whole fucking career, okay? <laughs> Afro picks and sneakers. <laughs> These are a few of my. Favorite, Favorite niggers. Oh, it's just supposed to be the no. one word and then no. things. Yeah, oh, things. Things. oh yeah. I got it. <laughs> you, 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 it's an adjective in this country. Yes. You, okay, Jesus I got it. All right, you know what? I'm adjective. getting it now, guys. I'm not, I'm not a good comedian. Uh, <laughs> we know. We know. This is really, I mean, we're gonna, we can't put this out. Yeah, what, shut what do you up, mean? It's, you it's, out. it's, it's, it's out. It's out. It's out. It's already out. Oh, here we go. Cuck liberal Joe list. Wow. Now, everything we say from here on out is also gonna be criticized. So we can't even make a regular fun. Uh, you know, a reverent joke now because I invite, they're going to listen to the whole episode. You knew, I invited Lewis on the show. When you invite Lewis on, you, that's it. Joe you don't expect answer. to hear the that's ER it. N-word 40 times. He said it every show he's ever been fucking on. <laughs> Before skanks, before my, before you and Tuesdays, before Gabby's fat lips and Mike's mushy face, before Rick fucking even started fucking young Asian boys, <laughs> he was on this show using the N word. Yep. So don't stop acting surprised. You know he didn't change. The fucking world changed. <laughs> changed around. No, he changed. No, he's no. trying. He never he's... changed. No, I didn't change. Joe, you changed. Well, he does ride skateboards now. If I can change, we all can change. If you guys start making out now, it's going to be so The hard. only thing that changes is chubby Do waist it. size, which <laughs> bugs does, me. It does change a uh, lot. There was a point where I was underneath him, and he no. got mad, uh, and then he went back into the fucking no. gym. Mm. That's a lie. There was. There was one point where he said, well, and I went, boom, and he was like, fuck you, and we went. We didn't, and, you didn't go below me. What, you I were, did. I was within like 20 pounds of you, and that was too much. No, I was yeah. a, I was below you. You're 5'6". I was below you. I'll below you right I'm now. I'm 5'8". I'll below <laughs> everybody. <laughs> I'm Joe. Joe, am I making you uncomfortable? No. Is this why you don't answer my calls about Legion of Skanks oh, anymore? I did return your call. Oh, shit. Oh, you don't answer comes. my texts. I've been trying to get you as a guest for a while. Wow. I did respond. That's bullshit. I'm unavailable that week. Because Legion of Skanks is fucking uh, too, a little too harsh for Joe List. Wow. Are you, have, you, have you listened to our podcast? Hollywood wow. Joe. Wow. Hollywood Joe. Yeah. Not Hollywood Showbiz. Showbiz Joe. He doesn't really go out to Hollywood it's that true. much. He's too ugly for Hollywood. He's not ugly. Will you stop calling him ugly? I don't so like ugly. that. He's I've not been to Hollywood guy. several times. Maybe you've Joe seen me. Joe is cute. He's cute like a doll. Thank you. 
<laughs> um, Gabby, you're very pretty. Thank you. Perfect. Gabby's <sighs> blotchy. She I'm, is. She's I'm too very pink. white. Am I blotchy right her? now? Yeah, you're blotchy. Gabby, you're a God, I blotch so easily. Ah, well, you get a, can I'm you Jewish. Tan? Can you tan? No, 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 no. No, 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 no. no, no. Um, <laughs> she must be Ashkenazi Jew. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Gabby looks like she smells good. She, um, why don't you smell her? Gabby, she doesn't I, smell like she can looks I smell good. smell you? Can you smell you? Yeah. Good. What? <laughs> Why'd you say that dirty? Yeah. <laughs> yeah. yeah. All right. Okay, don't be weird, though. What, how, yeah, this is whole thing Just is weird. Just smell me. Don't touch me, though. Not that good. What she smell? <laughs> what does she smell like? Like just fucking Like a dirty hair. white girl? Yeah, it's like a fucking unshowered bitch. You haven't showered? I showered this morning. You did? Did you wait? You? you didn't wear yeah. your hair, though. Did you wash your hair? No, no, no. No, that's why. No, no, no. What do you mean you don't wash your hair? You don't I'm, wash your hair every, every time, time you they shower. Do like twice a week, I don't they know. wash their hair. Really? Yeah. yeah. Yes. I know. Twice a week. I grew up with all women. That's why I'm so sensitive to their needs. And you're a cuck. Don't use my word that I use for Joe. I liked it. It's good. I didn't use it. It's my podcast, you cuck. Cuck. Louis the fucking cuck Gomez. Cuck. Isn't that the new fag? You no, cuck. cuck is a guy who watches a man fuck his wife. Oh. No, but isn't don't pe- our people? <laughs> oh. Aren't people I'm using, listening to this whole thing. I'm like, I don't know what it but is. But aren't people? Aren't people using cuck as the new fag? So you can't say, yeah. yeah, kind so, of, yeah. So you can't, you can't, so you because you can't say yeah, fag or it's boring. Yeah, you fucking cuck. Isn't that it? Isn't that what oh, you're okay. really saying? It's got a C. It's got a K. Yeah. It's yeah. A... You calling Joe a fag? Kind of. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah, it's the same word essentially. Yeah. He's just a little bit. He's a little bit country. <laughs> oh, that makes me think you'd like that song. Rock and roll. That stinks. All right, all right. What are we doing next? I don't want to think of you listening to Toby Keith. That bums me out. <laughs> Why? Because you're like, me. how do you like me now? Like, you're driving this, with Max. This fucking moron's got 90 podcasts. He's like, all right, let's move on. We'll move on when I fucking let's move on. on. I think we should move Fuck on you. We'll move on when Toby I move Keith, on. I don't know where we're going. Shut with your this. fucking face. There's no potential. Guy, in this if, bit. if nobody's saying N word or fucking talking about eating each other's assholes, he's all fucking bored. I'm yeah. just, I'm kidding about that. I don't even say the word yeah you just said it 90 <laughs> times you fucking dirty guy if i had balls I refugee said it. <laughs> if, I, if i had balls i would have said it uh, i don't use that word anymore either here's a here's a problem with the n-word we get it you can say it but who but you should who cares i don't think white people should be able to say but it. who cares about the n-word who cares if people say it or not i don't give a shit you shouldn't want to say the n-word if people are like ads hey, i don't want you to use that just don't fucking use it no it's it. like if somebody puts a button in front of you and says don't push that button you're like well now i want to fucking push that button so that's what's happening in society right now and now you have an outlet like reddit and youtube and now you can push that button all day long with no accountability it's stupid the People... most intelligent thing I've ever said on the show. <laughs> no, not you. Really not not, not you. No, I think the Puerto Rican thing was the most intelligent thing. <laughs> but I, I don't think it, I just think it's stupid to want to do something because you can do it. I don't. I'm not. All right, don't do that. All right, whatever. I agree with not doing it. I won't do it. I need to do it because I. I'm not. Oh, you're not supposed to do it, so you do it. That's retarded. Yeah, but to then do when you're in your car and you're driving through a black neighborhood and somebody jumps from your car, then you say it for real. You're not saying it jokingly or in What's a jovial way. I didn't hear way. the beginning of the bat. You went too fast. What'd you say I when, said you're, in when your you're in your car and you you have road rage and some black dude jumps in front of your car and you call him the n word? You know, not to his face, but fucking with the the music <laughs> blaring. Uh, into your shoulder blade. That's not the first thing that comes to my mind when a black guy walks in front of my car. That's the first thing that comes to my mind anytime I see a black person. Is it really? No. Oh. <laughs> What's wrong with you? What did you say when you hit that Mexican last week? Uh, what I say? When yeah. I hit the Mexican? Yeah. I caramba? I- <laughs> <laughs> did candy come out of him? <laughs> <laughs> I said, uh... <laughs> It was on fire today. I uh, I said I don't know what I say. I said Mike. <laughs> no. <laughs> I I well when I saw him I said sorry. I was like what the fuck. I he, I've come to think of it though he hit me. <laughs> Look you can't. How do I hit somebody with the side of my car? It was I mean, hit. Wait what hit you hit? I was making a U on seventy second and the bike guy hit my car. I was a biker. But a uh, um, uh, uh, delivery a Lenny sub delivery guy hit my car. And I, and it was just a, you know a tap whatever you heard it wasn't a, he didn't even damage my car he came into my car and I I you can't I didn't hit him if I hit him you know maybe we hit each other but anyways it was a Mexican dude so I just <laughs> I I just assimilate that's my go to uh, defense mechanism <laughs> when I when I have inter- interactions with anybody I turn into a Mexican I just went see I said mira 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 <laughs> And I gave him a 50. You guys just <laughs> slept on a street corner together for a couple hours? Well, 
¿Eso qué? <risa> ¿Eso qué? Mira, mira. Eso de Dios, tequila. <risa> I love you, man. I have, so I have salsa in my car. <risa> es <Yeah. risa> <Some> tacos. <risa> Bobby has tacos in his car, actually. Yeah. <risa> um, yeah, no, but I don't... I don't. I didn't fucking call him a Mexican. I didn't say you dirty Mexican. I didn't say that. Yeah. What well, are you trying is, to assume? By the way, Mexican is not the equivalent of the N word. Giving you a chance to. Mexican was <laughs> nothing. There's nothing equivalent except faggot. No, that's Ooh, not true. Faggot. Faggot's not as bad as nigger. Uh, what do you say? I say. If well, it comes let's from ask. The, they're not as dangerous anyway. <laughs> no, no, no. I mean, uh, not anymore. I used to say if it comes from the same place, it becomes the same thing. It's like I'm going to dehumanize you by calling you a word. Then, it, then it's the same thing. <laughs> Hold on. But let me say this. What if it's like I'm calling Joe Liss a faggot? That's not the same thing as me calling a gay dude a faggot. Yeah, I know, but that, the terms have changed. Yeah, you used one... to be able to say, I'm, I'm, I'm going to call you a faggot because I want to emasculate you. Yeah. Right? Because that's what guys do, locker room talk. That, but it changed. It's like, it's like, I don't mean gay faggot. I mean faggot faggot. Yeah. And then people are like, well, well, what's the difference then? Right. So, so the, kids the, the terminology up... has changed. Listen, I'm totally, I understand what you're, you're saying because I grew up with that kind of, kind of thing. But the... The yeah, meaning of the word has changed. You can't say retarded anymore. Yeah, anyway. have, have you I ever said faggot? Yeah, really. yeah. Well, yeah, but you. You, mm -hmm. you said faggot. <laughs> yeah, but I grew up on the Jersey Shore, and we said faggot and retarded and Yeah, but all that, that you stuff. can't use Jersey. I mean, yeah, look, but the Jersey, Jersey Shore, Shore people are also. But we're anywhere. real trash. But what, Boston's trash, too. There's also a lot of retarded faggots in the Jersey Shore. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> That's where we have our home. Hey, what's up? Let me duck your dick. Yeah, but you're talking about... Uh... I'm doing characters, guys. Come on. <laughs> Lewis, I... How many Talk characters did I do today? The fucking retarded that. fag? That's great. <laughs> <laughs> the your balls look really tasty, though. Oh, the touching. <laughs> you're really making Joe uncomfortable today. Well, it's today. brutal. I'm getting knocked over here. I'm getting tapped every minute. It's like this. You have Rick's no just idea. slowly opening his mouth. <laughs> Lewis's legs are this far and he's just doing this the whole show. For the record, I haven't touched him once. And the yeah, dude. Once. I'm the one behaving. It's yeah. brutal. Uh, Rick's... This is like period for the show. Rick's a good dude. Did you, brutal. Did you see uh, SNL this weekend when yeah. they, they did that skit about retarded? The dirty talk. They did a retard sketch. On no, this they did. Oh yes, yes. Dirty talk with uh, Melissa. Yeah, and she yes, said uh, Melissa, she said the word retarded, and he was like, "No, no, 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 you can't say that anymore." I mean, you really can't use the word retarded at all. What do you mean? People get fucking offended with the word mm, retard. No, you can use it. Like in stand-up? You can. In stand -up, to, to use any... You know. I, I said... Re, I said it's going to make it funny. As, as long as you, you're taking a chance... How do you make retarded funny now? Now. I know how you do it. I'm just asking. I'm watching it right now. That's what Segura got in trouble for, though. You're lucky. What did he get you're in trouble lucky. for? You're lucky. Literally, Mike went like this. Yeah. <laughs> that was a laugh you got. <laughs> Sounded like a dead person <laughs> laughing in the room. Sounded like me to say to North Battle. Like the spirit of somebody laughed. <laughs> but but Segura get in trouble, that's like a relative term. I mean, yeah, but he doubled I, down. I didn't even know what happened. This, this is why Segura is funny. Segura is funny. He doubled down on it. Mm -hmm. He went and said, fuck it, and he made more jokes about But the he work. literally didn't get in trouble. No, no. His, his he, got in well, he, got in tr he got in trouble with... Uh, people on the shit net. Yes. He yeah, but that's people not tweeted at him. Right. Where, but people, have, that's not, what are you going to say? It's not what? That's not trouble. If he loses that's something, fuck, he's Are you in crazy? Trouble. Nick DiPaolo just lost his fucking he, that's job. That's losing something. Nick because, got in trouble. But because, of, didn't. but because of Twitter, but if he, what are they going to take from him? They tried that's to take. That's what I'm saying. That's my point. But they tried to get Netflix to take a special off. Yeah. It just didn't work, but they fucking tried. Right. And they, and we don't know how close. Yeah, but they they're retards. They were just smashing their fingers into the keyboard. They couldn't get through to anybody. Well, that's my point. Is he didn't get We're so angry. <laughs> you can't, Rick left. Rick, you can't. Uh, if you laugh, you're out. Yeah, uh, that's it. It's over. Uh, yeah. Yeah, but that's the thing. We have a sense of humor. The, the very fact that you're saying the word that you're not supposed to say, that's the joke. Oh, you, look, I said the word that I'm not supposed to say. Surprise, that's the laugh. But look, you can't. Sometimes it's, it's hard to it's hard to navigate that with a, with an audience. Well, it's fun. If it's funny to somebody, it's funny. I well, that's know. the other. But know. that's the other thing right now as well because I think that sometimes sometimes people go like, oh, well, it's just easy to say say that to shock somebody. But you're right because the audience in a stand up comedy club and, and in most environments they're not reacting when you say a word like retard, faggot, nigger on stage in a stand up club. Yeah, it is a huge risk. At this point, it's not an easy laugh. Nobody's going, oh, this guy's fucking saying faggot. Yeah. It's really yeah. difficult. I've yeah. had to change words in my act because it didn't work. Yeah. Um, I faggot was a word that I had in a joke that I literally can't say anymore because it doesn't work. Retard, I'm saying it's different though. Retard, you can well, still laugh off pretty easily. What, why, why did you change that though? Because I'm trying to make, I'm trying to kill. It's my job to do as well on stage as possible, not to shock people, not to. No, I like talking about fucked up shit, and, and that's the comedy that's always made me but laugh. I'm confused but though because I mean, 
you say? What was the context in the word faggot that you were using? Um, I was talking about would I care if my son was gay? And then I call. Uh, it's, it's just a, a, a bit where my dog starts humping another male dog. Yeah. And then I call the other dog a faggot dog. What do you call him now? Gay dog. You should call him. A, and does it, it doesn't get the same laugh? No, it laughs. Not get a, It gets a harder laugh because it shifted at one what point. What about homo dog? That's well, fine. Actually, I have fucked with homo dog. All right. I said faggot on my Netflix half hour, and not one person. He just said it in the mirror before he got on stage. But I said it. <laughs> I was telling a story about somebody calling me a faggot in high school. So I think it, give me nothing. Yeah, you can do it, I'm, buddy. I'm sorry. You know, I'm, I'm yeah, not one God, person was upset. I thought it was a good one. It's fucking that bad. <laughs> I can just picture you going faggot. <laughs> <laughs> then he went like this. <laughs> um, <laughs> what the fuck? Sorry, I was saying a different thing. I said something, and then we were responding to each other. We were having our little talk. Blow right through it. So I didn't hear it. <laughs> <laughs> see, that's why it gets on. No, I'm kidding. I just think that you shouldn't get so fucking crazy about somebody joking. If somebody's intent was to joke, yeah. then who the fuck are you to say? If somebody wants to joke about this or that, and if a black guy wants to use the N-word, and if a white guy wants to say retard, and if somebody wants to say faggot, and they're trying to joke and have fun and not fucking... You know, they're not trying to wipe out a race of people or, you know, whatever. Then fucking shut the fuck up. No promises. How about, I was just watching <laughs> The Office, The American Office, season two, whatever year that was, 2003 yeah. or four. They did a whole episode where Michael calls the gay guy faggy. And they say faggy like 50 times. I, got in trouble. I don't think you could do that now. I got in trouble for faggy at a college. And a week before, Dane was there who used the word faggot as his closing bit. And they came in to me and they were like, yeah, we're, we're, we're really upset with you saying faggy. And I'm like, why? Because it's, you know, you really hurt some people's feelings. And there were some gay students. And fa I go, was Dane Cook here the week before? The, yeah. I go, wasn't his last bit? You're a faggot. Yeah. I go, faggot is not as bad. F faggy is not as bad as faggot. I go, I don't know what you're talking about. I go, I don't know, I don't know why, they're, why one's okay and one isn't. You know? It's because of you don't like, it's, it's, it's people who's saying it. And who's getting offended by it? Yeah. Because it was me, and I'm a fucking bald guy from Boston, and I'm not as cute or whatever. No, I think it's a level of fame. It. Well, it, it's that too, a level of fame, but it's because of the person saying it, whatever whatever reason it is. It's like, But now it's reversed. The higher the level of fame, the more offensive it is. Yeah. Now an unknown. None of us, nobody that's gives very, a shit about any of us saying that's this. That's very interesting. That's true. But if fucking, uh, you know. That's true. Bob Dylan came out and said, faggot, people would be up in arms. Unless it was sang it, faggot. <laughs> That's a Bob Dylan song. Uh, uh, we don't know, Rick. Okay, Rick can we, give me a Bob Dylan song. I'll see if we can throw a faggot in there somehow. Blowing in the wind. Uh, That's just times too easy. Are <laughs> That's blowing in my car. <laughs> you have a car? I have a car. <laughs> yeah. I, I, I also think I'm going to, where do you think I'm going to take these boys? <laughs> Get in the car. Get in the car, I'll give you a 50. A <laughs> 50? 50, is that? It's all it costs for a guy blowjob? Times is hard. Jesus, yeah. sure. man. If I sure. could put time in a faggot. That's not Bob Dylan. Oh, that's Jim Croce. That's Jim Croce. Yeah. Mm, it's pretty sorry. good, though. It's a good it's song. It's a great song. <laughs> I just don't, I mean, you, but here, the thing with you, though, you say whatever you want you, all the time, podcast, you never hold back, you don't give a fuck. <laughs> but, in your, but in your act, you made a change because. Because it's my job to it's my job to read the room and stand up is a, it's a much different thing. It's yeah. a, you know there's different forms of funny. So stand up is your job to read the room and kill in that room. Mm -hmm. They're paying you to to kill. Um, eventually you sell your own tickets. You have your own fans coming. Then your fans are sort of expecting. Then it's almost like you're paying yourself to kill. So then it sort of doesn't matter. Um, but. On a podcast, a little different. I mean, we just kind of... Legion of Skanks is a different thing, too. Like, I'm fucking around here on this one, but typically I don't just fucking say the N-word to say the N-word or say faggot to say faggot. Like, I, you know, I'll try to at least be funny with it or have it within context. Um, but Legion why of Skanks... Do you do, why are you doing it on here as a... Why, I don't understand. Well, that. I was being funny. I was doing it. I was overusing it, it here. For funny, yeah. Yeah, but yeah. the overusing it as much as I've used it here is the funny part here. Right. If I would have said it once, it wouldn't have been that funny. Right. Gotcha. It would have been just real. Yeah. Right. Yeah, just the context. It's like, how do you mean it? Does he mean it because he's, he, I've said it so many times, the joke is that I'm saying yeah, something exactly. I'm not supposed to be yeah, saying. Yeah, yeah, But I don't think yeah, it's a Yeah, but that's a context thing. But I think, I, look, I, I don't think if you, if you like Gabby, the fact that she's never used it, I think is great. That's because she's got, got, got that goofy voice too. It would be too much. That Muppet voice? <laughs> oh, my God, all these blacks. Yeah, but huh? You don't think that's a great thing that people aren't going to use that, like, this generation? Yes, I don't think anybody should I, use the N-word. I think that's gonna, it's going to be phased out. Retard, faggot, uh, nigger is all going to be phased out. In Trump's out. America, yeah. <laughs> but, 
was like, why is the, uh, I mean, I why are we not I'm fucking laughing, laughing at that? I'm that was like, I don't think I get it. <laughs> Dude, <laughs> you're gonna phase out. I don't get I just said and... gays black. He's gonna phase them all again. Oh, they're all I gonna see. be gone. I didn't get it. I thought you meant the word. That's why I didn't understand no, I it. Know. I thought it was <sighs> nonsensical. I know what to tell you, Lou. Yeah, Try, I'm I mean, not. Yeah, we're both trying. I here. think I think you're doing a good job. Thanks, man. Um, you want to move on from this? No, not yet. <laughs> not yet. <laughs> I once was hooking up with a black guy. Yes. <clears throat> here, let me. No. Cut his mic. <laughs> and yeah. he wanted to do like dominant, submissive role play, and mm. he wanted me to use that word on him. Right. Yeah. He wanted me to call him that. Now we're getting somewhere. And I so, so and I wouldn't do it. A uh, retard. Why? I don't know. I just couldn't do it. I've been so. I thought Al Sharpton would come out of the closet any second. And threesome. No, no. Yeah. Yeah. no, no. I don't mean come out of the closet. I mean come from the other room. They're right. turning me into closet. an Oreo cookie. You know, no, I couldn't do it. Why? I couldn't do it. Yeah, I wouldn't be into that either. I said no. I, I could do that. I can't humiliate somebody like that. So what? You know? He wanted you to be like a slave owner or yeah. something. Yeah, really? yeah, something like oh that. My God. Really. So you had to be like, boy, go in the other room and take your pecker out. I don't think you want me to say <laughs> what like I that. said. I said, I said, you did not pick enough cotton this week. Go <laughs> now. I want to see that big mamba jamba come on my chin <laughs> right now, you motherfucker, or you're gonna get three lashings. <laughs> That's exactly. That's exactly what he wanted me to say. Yeah. Now I yeah. want every last drop of that jibby jabba juice. <laughs> oh, look at this one here. Oh, he's a big old stallion here. I feel like I you got a top dollar for this one. Ooh. I feel like Bobby got several callbacks on a slave owning part at one point and did some studies. You're really nailing it. I mean, I just don't understand. That'd be so fucked up. He wanted you to be like a, just a racist guy. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. I think there's a lot of people that are I don't pretend that. to understand it, but I, I, because here's I didn't the problem do it. with that. I didn't do it because if you do it, here's the problem with that. If you do it and then you get too into it, <laughs> and and then there's one point where he's like, yo, 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 chill. <laughs> or he records That's the most it. racist yeah. thing we've said today. <laughs> yo, 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 chill, son. <laughs> yeah. Then I use it somewhere else. I'm gonna yeah. say like, hey, you can't use it. Where say, no, no, this black guy was fucking just told me I could. <laughs> yeah. it's, it's okay. Yeah. I got to pass. God forbid something happens and your neighbor just hears you. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, <laughs> boy. Um, I get the humiliation thing though. Would you? What, all right, is it because of that word, or was it just humiliating somebody? So let's say there was, it was another just a guy. Yeah. Another guy was like, "I want you to fucking smack me in the face and throat fuck me until yeah. I cry." That's Could what you I'm do that. Sense. Well, that's, yeah, well, that's a date. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, <laughs> throat fuck me. Yeah. But, <laughs> uh, but yeah, no, there's 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 that whole thing. I want you to humiliate me, call me names. Uh, yeah. Uh, I don't yeah, understand it, it myself. But is it you, so? You don't, don't like in, it. You're not into that. No. What you, you, no, you, so you're a like lover. A, you're a lover. I'm a lover. Right. You're a lover. <laughs> you're a top lover. I'm a top lover, and I pay for dinner. <laughs> yes, I'm. Very, you pay for dinner oh. like a falafel or a full like like appetizer. Depends on where we are. Depends, wow. Yes. Jersey City. <laughs> <laughs> All right, then a snow cone. <laughs> 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 I don't I, understand. I mean, who's who's uh, who's into being humiliated here? There's got to be one person. I'd be into that. Yeah. Really? Yeah. Spit in be, my mouth. I used to love that. Spit that. on my mouth. Do not spit. Smack me around a little bit. Make me. Yeah, eat my but own if cum. somebody can hit your mouth with spit, they win a prize. <laughs> 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 uh. Unbelievable aim. <laughs> Lewis. Lewis is killing today. <laughs> I was pitching those games with the clown. Yeah. <laughs> uh, Joe's, got, Joe's got a carnival clown mouth. <laughs> I'm going to make the mics thinner. <laughs> oh, buddy. Jesus Christ, that made me laugh. Yeah, um, uh, yeah I, I don't like being humiliated. I, try to, I, I like to be dominant, and I like when a girl's a little dominant, but uh, when they get, there's always that point where they do, they get too into it and they'll say something, they'll scratch my face, and then I'm like, hey, cut the fuck. And I get, what the fuck is your problem? Relax. Ow. And then I take over and I'm, and they're like, that's what I wanted. Oh. I had a girl one time it. who wanted me to choke her, but then would come to her senses and then wanted me to choke her again and then be like, oh, and start, she started like crying and like, oh, I don't, and then, and I'd be like, are you okay? And she's like, no, no, no. I, I like it. I like it. And I'd be like, she keep oh, doing it. No. No, I was like, I gotta go. No. I'm not doing this shit. This is mm -mm. too. Whatever you're doing, tears should not be involved. No, 
Yeah, you, know, you gotta you gotta or, both or be possible non by it. I think like you can't. Yeah. I've had chicks who've done weird shit. Yeah. Like chicks who are into violent sex. I can't get into. It doesn't turn me on. Yeah. I can get a chick who's into like smacking me or like a little bit of smacking, a little bit of light fucking. Yeah. You, know, you bruise her ass a little bit. You smack her. You know, hit her in the ribs a little. <laughs> yeah, crack her ribs. Shots. You make know, her make her go. Uh, yeah. yeah. <laughs> But, the liver. you know, that's yeah. it. No, but, like, if, if it turns you, you know, it's got to sort of turn Smack both of you on. Smack <laughs> I, uh, I like, I, I would rather be dominant than dominated. I can't be dominated. It just, I could do it for a second. Even though I like weird shit, like, I like when a chick, you know, fucking sucks my dick from the back door. What? From... I mean, around the... I like to get on all oh, fours yeah. and have her oh, pull yeah. my dick in between my legs yeah. and just... Blah, blah, blah. Yeah, yeah. You know? Yeah, that's hot. I like a wet blowjob, <laughs> too. But I don't like wet... I don't well, want, Who I wants would, a dry blowjob? <laughs> well, some girls just go... Hoo, hoo, hoo. You know what I mean? Some girls I, just spit on it and wet it and... Gabby? And choke on Terrible. it. I don't... No comment. Gabby, what do you do? No comment. <laughs> I'm going to stay... I'm going to be writing notes over here for this Good portion. for you, Gab. No. Nope. Mike, what do you do? Uh, my hands, nope. mostly. A lot of hand work. I like yeah. a lot of hand work. What do you mean, like uh, fingers? No, you gotta you fucking sh- you almost extend the tube. I'm not of talking your about mouth. blowing guys. <laughs> oh. <laughs> He'd be talking to me. Well, but that's about? a good technique, by the way. Let me tell that's you something a, right now. Uh, I will fucking go down in history. Uh, I, the one of the best blowjobs I ever got in my life was from Luis Gomez. Oh, Luis J. Gomez. All right. what, Luis. <laughs> <laughs> Joe, Joe so tell me because when I married Joe List, I was, <laughs> I said I li- I put his name in it just for shits and giggles to see how committed Lewis was. I went Lewis Gomez, and he went J in the middle of his <laughs> wedding. It made me so it happy. Heckled my wedding, yeah. Lewis B J Gomez. Uh, yeah. <laughs> um, yeah, best blowjob ever. Literally, I mean, he gave you gave me head that I love. Yeah, loved his head. That sounds like he, a Bon Jovi song. The, uh, <laughs> for, he went like he went like this right on the tip. Oh, two finger stroke down, yeah. and then fucking <clears throat> other hand reached in, grabbed me. I mean, and- for the listeners that never you know listened to that show or, or saw the video, I mean, we should explain that it was <laughs> not actually your dick, and it was uh, a oh man, you're <laughs> right. you ruined it. It was a, a, a rubber dildo. It wasn't me actually sucking his dick. Where's my dicks? Up, <laughs> up. That's what he says every time he tries to pee. Um, this was the dick right here. This is the dick that looks Actual size? That's good. It was good. I thought it was that's actually a pretty small dick, right? That's the dick, right? I think that's a fine size dick. No, that's this like is a, a perfect dick. Like Gabby, is that a is that a fine size dick? It's a fine size dick. That that's is all you need, Rick. It's, uh, it, it, yeah, it's a moderate uh, it's Rick. a keeper. It's not it's bad. It's a keeper. You don't, you're not going to throw that one back. You want it slightly thicker. How about this one? That's, that's a little that's, better. That's too big. That's a, a little better? That's, that's too a, big. Yeah. That, well, no. I mean, that's for me, that's, again, as a top, I, I'm not taking that There's one. the Lister. How about that? <laughs> There's the Lister. <laughs> oh, I got that. That was from my Christmas grab gun. That's a, yeah. that's a cane. It. It's a water gun. Or a cum gun, yeah. whatever you want. Think, yeah, <laughs> yeah Lewis, this, uh, he, he did a fake blowjob. Of course, people know that. Mm-hmm. No, you'd never blow somebody. Right? That's so many dicks. I got a lot of dicks in the studio. Over the years, we've collected a lot of penises. We're yeah. not afraid of dick in the studio. No. Nope. No, not at all. Lewis was a fucking man. Stu- on stage, touring of people. Puh, fucking bush. Right in front of uh, Jim Norton, Bailey J. Yeah. Mm. Well, this one, Jim Norton was fucking on top, too. <laughs> what is he not? Not on Before, top yes. anymore? No, no. What? Jim's still on top. He's a <laughs> lazy bottom. How are you? <laughs> He's a lazy bottom. It's a lazy bottom. He just lays there. <laughs> Sounds like a great band, the Lazy Bottoms. The Lazy Bottoms. Uh, just a bunch of fucking gay guys. Oh, who they're after, the worst. The Lazy Bottoms. After the bottoms. show, don't really seek any dick out. They just kind of stand there and wait for guys to come up. It's like uh, if somebody, if somebody throws themselves at me, I'll do it. But yeah. I'm just going back to the hotel room. Yeah, I'm just gonna go back to the hotel room. What do you want to do? Want to go now? Let's just go back. Let's get tired. Yeah, you know, let's get some French fries and just go back to the room and just watch TV. Like, <laughs> let's go watch that guy on Billions with the big head. Oh, so hot. Um, so, anyways, this last weekend. Well, this Stank Fest has- NYC tickets went on sale, sale, sale. That's right, everyone. You can get tickets right effects. now to Skank Fest NYC. <laughs> See the Legion of Skanks live. Robert Kelly, Kelly, Kelly. What's up, Dan? Jim Norton. I'll suck a dick. I'll Dave suck a dick. Attell. Uh, hey, is this your joke? The Artie and Anthony Show live. <laughs> Not Joe List. <laughs> Cause he's working. Mark Norman. He's Norman. Not, Norman. He's not on it. No, he said no. Joe List. Work. Where you working? Road. On a Tuesday? When is it? It's Friday, Friday Saturday. Saturday. Oh, I'm working too. No, you're not. We already went through this, bitch. You're coming to Skank Fest. <laughs> I, don't, I don't use drugs. Michael J. 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 Hey, man. 
Pete Davidson. Hey, man. <laughs> <laughs> Nikki Glazer. Oh, suck it down. <laughs> <laughs> Bonnie McFarlane. Oh, I hate my life. <laughs> Rich Voss. Oh, I hate my wife. <laughs> <laughs> Ari Shafir. <laughs> I'm, I'm a Jew. Fuck you. I don't give a shit. Fuck how it's done. <laughs> Tickets on sale now. Both two day passes and single day passes at skankfestnyc.com. You know what, Dad? <laughs> no wrong podcast. You know what, fucking skank? <laughs> blah, blah. <laughs> <laughs> that was an actual live read we, we just put in there, guys. Yeah, that was a live read, that guys. That's great. That's great. Um, this last Genius. week, you can leave in Mo. I want to say uh, my friend Mo. You know Mo, right, Lou? Uh, Tatawahe yeah, rep. You Lou smoke cigars? Lives in the North Pole. He should come to Skank Fest. Comes around once a year. Bring some. <laughs> <laughs> Delivers presents to children. Dude, I fucking, you fucking kill it. I don't know why nobody laughs at you. <laughs> That's a stretch. Can we be honest? That's a stretch. He's brown. He's got a short beard. He's not fat. Dude, fucking Santa. The whole thing was from where he's from, Egypt. Yeah, dude. I mean, he looks kind of like Santa. That's a solid <laughs> no. fucking reference. Santa's from yeah. Norway. Yeah, Santa. Klaus. Klaus is an Egyptian <laughs> name. Right? <laughs> 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 Santa and the elves just uh, <laughs> throw gaze off of the roofs. I'll admit you're hot. You're on fire today. It's been a great Small performance, group. but he's fucking African. <laughs> you can't just throw Santa Claus at any guy. Oh, so Santa's not black now. Um, Tatawahe rap. Uh, tattoo. My, one of my favorite stars. Star Wars? No. Ta <laughs> Tatooine, you fucking idiot. <laughs> <laughs> and La, La Tierra, uh, Tatuaje Cigar is my favorite. Good friend of mine. If you want to smoke, anybody ever ask me, uh, ask me what cigar what? do you smoke? <laughs> Tatuaje. We, we should get them for the gift bags for the comics. Well, we should talk. What is it? Uh, it's uh, July 14th and 15th. Yeah, you, should, you know what you should do oh, is... Oh, i got to get it before that, but I'll be at the uh, trade show, so we'll get something together. Before. Yeah, talk yeah, to Lou. Yeah, that'd, yeah, yeah. that'd be great. A nice fucking... Everybody smoking Tatuajes at Skank Fest. Put a nice one in. Maybe I'll some... Put uh, a Tat, tat and a fucking uh, sticker or some type yeah. of... That'd be a good thing. And then we all smoke cigars. We'll put a nice fucking uh, Instagram out. Dad. 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 Make it happen, Dad. There you go. Good for you. I fucking hate that guy. Shut up. <laughs> <laughs> I... Uh, Oh, I think my mother might be going to get the tent. What kind of tent do I get? Do both of them. Tell her to get um, a two-person REI tent. REI. Hang on one second, please. Sorry, it back, sorry. That's all right. Don't worry about it. Uh, two-person. Yeah? Okay. Okay. Oh, you're going camping? Joe's going camping? Joe's going too, yeah. You're a fucking piece of shit. <laughs> Why am I? I specifically <laughs> said, oh, dude, I would love to go camping with you no, and we're my going, kid one day. We're, we're going to do, we're not doing that. Yeah. We, me and you, yeah, go, okay. we're, we're going to go to a campsite, okay. dummy. We're going, we're literally walking up into the woods. I'm not bringing Max. Up, it's called primitive camping. We're walking up into the woods, finding a spot, staying there overnight, coming back down the next day. What me and you are going <laughs> to do, we're going to go up to the campsite up, uh, like an hour up from where I am. Yeah. And they get all kinds of shit for the kids to do. Plus, we have the tent, okay. fire pit, you Fine. know. All right. Yeah, that's what we're doing, dummy. That hurt my feelings for a minute. Oh, that's all right. I don't want to hurt your feelings, Lou. But it's tentative. It's just a, it's just a different uh, camping. Tentative? Was that a camping joke? Yeah. That's What's tentative? That? I like that. Yeah. Based on yeah. the word tent. Yeah. yeah. So, anyways. So. Um, <laughs> an yeah, you, know, you know, spiders have tentacles. They don't. <laughs> they, they don't. No, no they don't. They That's also have, true. No, they have they legs. Have legs? <laughs> no, they have legs. Dummy. Like that joke. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, you have legs that are fucking bumping me the whole fucking show. It sucks. Well, do something about it. I, can't, I keep telling them. Stop it. it Fight sucks. him. Look Fight at this. him. It sucks. The you, whole you fucking can, Joe, day sucks. You can take him. He's sitting literally like this. <laughs> Just doing this. It's fucking ridiculous. You it's a fucking Fight moron. Him. Fight him. Fight him, Joe. A fight. A fight. A fight. A spank and a white. Hold on. Set me. If the white don't win, tents. we all jump in. They would really say that. They would sing that to me as my the white kids in my neighborhood would jump me. What would it say? What they would, would they go, say? a fight, a fight, a nigger and a white. If the white don't win, we all jump in. Oh yeah, I remember that. Yeah. Yeah. From uh, earlier today when you were telling me it. <laughs> oh my God. I'll See, text Joe, my mother about you got an tent. attitude, Joe, and you're bringing down the show. Maybe I am. I'm fucking bummed out. I, I can't. It's, what? It's, I'm just bumping all day. Is that really bothering you? It's 100% of the time. Let me tap your knee every I, 10 I, seconds. I would not want that. It's, can, you I, not, can you not drag me into it? I'm just wondering, do you have a problem with what he's doing? All right, anyway, so yeah, let's keep going. Fucking N-word. Blah, 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 blah. 
Joe's really upset. I'm shut, upset. He really is I upset. Oh my it's God. crazy. It's not on purpose, man. It's an accident. My legs no, bumping the, into the him. N- I get a little nervous sometimes. The N word was a little. Oh, the N word was on purpose. That's, yeah, what, that's yeah. true. You really made all of us uncomfortable. No, I throw. Here's what I do. I put everyone on their back heels, and then they go. Sh- and then you get the best out of somebody. On the back heels. On their back heels. First of all, you don't the, get the best yes, out of I anybody. Because I'm, I'm hosting all... the show right now, and I'm getting the best out of my guests. Uh oh. Do you want to move on? Next topic. <laughs> I'm just waiting. Here's what happens. Yes, tell us. If you want to see the best out of a man, yes. okay, yeah. watch him when his back is against the wall. Huh. Watch him when shit has hit the fan. Watch him when he's fucking dealing with a little bit of shit he's uncomfortable with, uh-huh. and you will see the best that man could be. No, that, so I'm bringing the best out of everybody in the room by saying the N-word so much. Rick, he has. <laughs> this is what he does, because he yeah. has to have... He has the Rambo theory. Yeah, like he's, fight he's, or flight. Yeah, he can't, he can't only... Only does good when it's fucking... He's just going to die. When the rest of us are just, we can have a good podcast and not have to, you know, piss everybody off and make you fucking flip out and get angry and feel visceral. He needs to do that. You see? He wants to make me visceral. He wants to make you go Is fucking, wo- fuck you. And Listen, you, know, you speck your- That kind of thing? Whoa. <laughs> I would never <laughs> say that. Maybe, Whoa. Rick. Maybe you're I right. Never do that. Right. Think, oh, sure. Fine, Too I'll fuck Here, let me jerk you off so candy comes out. Sure. I, I, I think Lewis has a good point. Take over the show. <laughs> All right. <laughs> Yet another podcast. I can't do that kind of thing. <laughs> you can do it. Everyone's, everyone's, I don't want everyone to do what I do either. Everyone's got to do what they do. Joe's got to do Nobody's little fucking gonna, shit. Not, quips. Every, not everybody can do what you do. Fucking you fucking, be a mediocre I like middle. Quips. I'm a I, quip guy. <laughs> yeah, you know, Bobby's gonna fucking, you know, talk over everyone, get angry at everyone because they talk over him once out of every twenty times that he does it to them. I haven't got angry today. Fucking Mike's gonna die of some sort of fucking disease next to me. Yeah. Uh, <laughs> Gabby's gonna be all blotchy and boring. <laughs> no. yeah. Welcome to YKWD. Can I say something though? It's funny. I'm We're really all sitting there when he said when he said something about you. You're just quiet. He said something about me. We just uh, he said something about him. He said something about Gabby. We all go. Ha, 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 ha. Fuck you guys. It is. It really is. Fuck what's good, you guys. What's good for you is good. Yeah. Well, blotchy and boring worked. Blotchy and boring. Alliteration. Yeah. yeah. You good. should see her shins. <laughs> yeah. Sorry. Uh, Have Bobby's you seen gonna my be shins? all. Bobby's gonna be all you fucking uh, frisky and fat. <laughs> And uh, alliteration. Do me, do me. Uh, Joe's gonna be all <laughs> cunty and uh, cucky. Just stop pulled it out. Blotchy Mike's gonna be all fucking sick and stupid. Yes. Just singing of Mike being sick and stupid. Uh, they did the roast battle this weekend. Gabby and Mike, Mushy Mike, did the roast battle. Oh. Mm-hmm. Blotchy Gabby and Mushy Mike did the roast battle, did and yeah. I was very. I, I, was, I, I was one of the judges. I was very fucking nervous. First of all, I was very sick. I don't know if you know that. I had a really bad diabetes. M- very no, not diabetes. Not yet. <laughs> Pre, um, I had a I had a uh, migraine. I almost threw up sitting at that fucking table. Sorry about that. And then they don't put the AC on at the stand, and you know the ceilings are four feet tall. Eighty people in there, packed. Within two seconds, it's one hundred and seventy degrees. I'm standing, Big J, Ron, and then me next to each other. I was I almost passed out. I almost I almost threw up and passed out. Finally, they put the fucking AC on. Thank God. And uh, the beautiful manager over there gave me an Advil. <laughs> that lineup it literally looked like it was going to be an eating competition. <laughs> 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 yeah, it was terrible. I was so hot. And then uh, these two were doing it. I I'm going to say before we watch the footage, okay? Mm-hmm. I thought I had gone to dinner with Mike the night before, right? And I think there's two ways you can go about roast battle. You can go and get help and really write a bunch of things and treat it like almost like an essay or some type of homework. Or you, or can, you can go eat for eight hours straight with Bobby Kelly at a restaurant. <laughs> Either or. <laughs> <laughs> and I think me and Avery really did go nuts. I saw dumplings. I was trying to, we were like, let's get salads. Okay, dumplings on a sign. Fucking 19 dumpling platters later. I mean, this fatso was swollen. Um, I think it was my fault. He fucking... Anyways, I'm not going to give anything away. He, uh, I didn't know who was going to come out of the gate. I had, a, I had a feeling you were very studious. And very... Uh, from what you do for the show, I know how you are. And that you, when you're given a task, you murder it. You I like that funny it. has not come into play Yeah, yet. not even a, for well, a second. <laughs> well, I'm, I'm going to let her do That's it. Fine. I'm, I'm going cool. to I'm gonna let you do it. I'm going to let you be the funny. And then Mike... I thought Mike is he's he's vicious, he's mean on the show. He says stuff. I, I his comedy's a little edgier than hers. I was like, I don't know who's gonna pull out of this. 
what? Depends on my comedy exists on stage, but it's fine. I put you on my wow. show, you little bitch. Wow. You have a show? Yeah. yeah. How have we not been on your show? Yeah, why it's are you a monthly show. Us? You want to do it? Right, what well, do you want to take you a fucking $8. rich shower to Brooklyn? <laughs> 7 o'clock. The sun's still out when she's doing her shows. Oh. Um, I'm so kidding. You think she'd have a better tan? Jesus. I told you I don't tan, baby. <laughs> fucking pale. Anyways, roast battle. Louis J. Gomez. You get a lot of shit when you come out, too. Why? When you when you host, people fuck with you a lot. Yeah, well, we gotta you know you gotta let the room know that that's what's gonna happen. So right. you know I, I let the there judges... was two girls that left behind me. Mm. They thought it got a little mean because they couldn't they... see. <laughs> <laughs> Sorry, you're gonna beat me to that. <laughs> you, that's uh, a good one. Lewis got so excited he put the, the mic. He, his instincts to pull the mic away. His arm went. No, it's too good. And it pulled away. <laughs> <and he went>. <laughs> <laughs> Um, all right, so here it is. You ready? This <laughs> these two girls right behind Bobby Kelly, like this is awful. Uh, uh, why'd you ruin it? I uh, went to act out. Yeah. All right, characters. so I'm getting the impression, obviously, that Gabby annihilates Mike. <coughs> You're gonna see. Maybe, yeah, maybe I not. Mean, you know, maybe not. I feel like you think you're setting this up <laughs> yeah. to be like. Well, I was. I, I'm not setting it up to. Oh. So close. So close. close. I'm trying to just say that I was very shocked at this, with this outcome. So, Gabby, you are a comic. Yes. <laughs> Mike is no. a comic. Mm, I know yes. Mike. <laughs> Mike is great. I would talk about how good he is, but Lewis got upset last time. No, because he goes, oh, Mike is fucking 40 times a comic that Lewis is. And then I saw Mike, and I'm like, Mike is not one-tenth the comic that I am. He's 10 times funnier than you, not no, 40. I, 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 sorry. Not 40. <laughs> not 40. Not 40. I'd say like 4%. 4, yeah. 4, four, four is a good number. I would say, four I would say stronger. 6. I'm 40% yeah. fatter. 6% stronger. Yeah. Yeah. No, you're fat, yeah. <laughs> uh-huh. <laughs> by the way, Mushy Mike, wouldn't kill you to go, hey, can I sneak by also? I the, you're in the I same, it's like the whole team is bumping me over here. I'm sorry about that. What, what's wrong with you getting bumped? Lewis is an animal, and I'm just trying to go, He's that's Lewis. But Mike, just go, hey, can I scooch? I did, he's but Lewis, I was too he's quiet. So, he's I'm sorry. So, excuse me. He's he's see, but, Joe, you're being he's very aggressive with everybody. Joe, are you he okay? Is, right? It's not, not it's okay. It's not fair, Joe. You're not being, can you are being aggressive. No, can I tell you? You are being aggressive. He's being rude. Yeah, go ahead. Did you call me Joe? <laughs> no, I meant to say Robert. Hang on one second. Robert. Oh, oh, I think I shit my pants. Go Robert. <laughs> yes. Uh, here's the thing. I am consistently who I am. Yes. Robert Kelly said this to me years ago. It was one of the best things when I was going to move to L.A. Yeah. And it stuck with me. He said, what? wherever you go, there you are. Right. Right? That's true. And That's it really did. It sucked not me. his it original made me, it made me, book. It's not, it, was, it was Bobby <laughs> Kelly's. He said, dude... Uh, the road less traveled will lead to, <laughs> to, I don't know the rest of it. I said, but do you have the positive perspective? <laughs> <laughs> I'll follow who out in heaven. Hello be thy name, dude. <laughs> I wrote that last night. Bobby said one of the best things I've ever heard. <laughs> it is what it is. <laughs> <laughs> it's changed my life. You didn't make that up? You, wherever you go, there you are? No, it's from some, it's from it's life. It's from a book called it's Wherever You Go, There You Are. That's a great quote. It's I a, quote it all the time. I attribute it's a great to, quote. to Robert Kelly well, because three you, times a week. You can, <laughs> but, you can, but you can attribute it to me because I use it in my life because we're the same people and I gave it to but you. But were like, you eating off that book? Uh-oh. Oh, apparently you're still unfunny, too. <laughs> Where, that, I was talking to the bomb, Dana. Wherever you go, there you are. <laughs> oh, <God. laughs> Right on my microphone. Go ahead. But you, you get you, this. Is why this is why this show is a fucking nightmare. That's why I'm a because great it, podcaster. We're trying to get him. We're trying to get him, and now it's on me. Somehow. No, I'm sorry. You're right. He got you to go against me. I'm not against you. And I, I gave you. you a great quote. Wherever you go, they are. Wherever you go, they are. Now, why where? is your watch that size? Because I like wherever it. you go, they are. Yours, Bobby Kelly. yours too. But you're, at least you have big fat wrists. <laughs> Look at this thing. It's insane. <laughs> That's a professional wrestling belt for anybody else. <laughs> so listen, Oof. are you taking a class? <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Jesus. Are you fucking? Are you fucking Rick Chrome? <laughs> <laughs> Joe Liss, you're being inconsistent. See, I'm always an asshole and aggressive. You're usually a nice person. So right now, you're. I'm coming. not usually sitting next to you. <laughs> That's true. We don't usually sit Joe next to you. you you're, you're usually sitting. Uh, on the other side of Dan, who Dan knows you better and puts up with Dan you Dan doesn't better. care about a little leg bump, and we're fucking dancing. We're all together. We get a little physical. Fucking dick. Mm. <laughs> so anyways, uh, Joe, can you grab me water out of that fridge <laughs> so Mike to. doesn't have to bump you and you flip out? Oh, you, oh my God, you banged the fucking door, Joe. <laughs> Holy shit, Joe. My whole day is thrown off because Joe's banging doors around. There you go, Lewis. I mean, Bobby. You call me Lewitz? <laughs> By accident. What, what the fuck, man? Lewitt. Well, you guys have similar fucking dumb gigantic watches. Yeah. And, um, you know. What else? 
That's it. I was going to uh, say you're both fat, but Lewis looks great. Thanks. You know, why are you being mean to me? I didn't do shit to you. I didn't bump you I once. was trying to shit on him, but it wasn't going to work because he's not <laughs> gross. <laughs> he's gross? He's got no, nine different shades of brown on his body. He really is. Yeah, the skin is a problem. <laughs> And you're calling her blotchy, by the way. You got yeah. spots. <laughs> you have more spots yeah. in your face than in you're, your calendar. He's only the spit. He's either- oh. <laughs> oh, very good. Very good. Very good. Thank you. Thank Joe you. is back. Joe is back. Well, Joe by the way, is back. Joe is back. Joe is back. You got your legs under the table. I can breathe. I can live my life. <laughs> yeah, he, he loses really sitting. is sitting. He's a spick with freckles. <laughs> <laughs> All right, let's do this. This is the roast battle. God damn it. Every... You know, who I knows who will win? <laughs> <laughs> Worst setup ever. Don't listen to him at all. Listen to me ever. No, I mean, I'm not in the right place. What he's telling oh, me. Yeah, right. he should put it to Sorry. where they're both already on stage listen versus Lewis, all of the intro. Because he knows where you're at in the clip. Make sure you pay attention to Lewis. As Wonderful. much as it pains me to say this, <laughs> what? Lewis should probably host this podcast from now on. Let's do it, Lewis. You're in? I'll do it. Cool. All right, what's Let up, me... dudes? By the way, if you, you should retire and just give me this show, I would probably combine <laughs> Real Ass Podcast <laughs> with this one. I really well, I would consider that. If dude, you it's, if, it's if, if I took over why get it. Very close, dude. We're very close. It's not bad. It's a great idea. Dude, me and Zach sort of look like we you get, com- yeah. uh, like you look like us combined. Yeah, but we gotta get you off the end. You have to be a little more civilized to host this. I'll do it. If yeah. I if the assignment is yeah. don't say the N word, if that's one of the fucking lines, <laughs> well, I have no problem yeah, with that, dude. I'm not been. why I don't have a fucking been. I don't go on <laughs> I think in life. Yeah, we don't we don't we don't I yeah. thought that was unsad, but we yeah. can say it at the top of the show from now on. Well, yeah, if, if that's a rule of the show, I probably wouldn't do your fucking <laughs> faggy show anymore. But <laughs> hey, hey, hey. Hey, you can't say faggy, though. Fag is another rule. <laughs> you know, but it's like... No, no, retard. <laughs> whoa, whoa, whoa. Oh, my whoa. God. Wait a minute. Don't be such a spick. <laughs> Ching, dong, dong. Whoa. Oh, oh, sorry. Joey. I couldn't think of it. That's seriously <laughs> out of the fucking ballpark, dude. All right, here we go. Ready? And Gabby, uh, Gabby was smart. Can I say one thing before they get into yeah, it? Probably. Gabby was smart to dress like a dyke because it puts <laughs> Thank her. You. It puts her into like a you know. Uh, nobody's going like, oh my gosh, she's a hot chick, fucking whatever. It's just dull it down. Yeah, looks almost like a dude. Yeah, but he yeah. asexualizes her. Yes. Nobody wants to fuck her. Exactly. No, it's, it's she really. The jokes. You really do. Is that intentional that you don't dress hot? Because I've seen you dress hot and you really shine. Yeah. Do you ever wear like a dress? Cleavage, the thing. Shoes. No cleavage ever. Um, but I do. You ever put a chicken cutlet in your tits? Yeah, ever stuff it up a little bit? No, no I always uh, <laughs> dress bad for stand up. Okay. Then they focus on my voice. There we go. Wow, stop. Uh, stop. Look at that stop. Headshot. Ah. Steve, just go back a little bit. Look at her in that photo. Look at that headshot. That's like an I insane. I can literally jerk star. off to that headshot. Yeah, you, you're a movie star in that. I mean, you're a fucking television star. Thank you. You're like an afternoon Nickelodeon TV star. Thank you. All and right. there you Let's look like fucking Jodie Foster in uh, <laughs> Don't say Nell. in the... Don't, you didn't have it. No. Don't go in the... And then think of it. Sorry. Just say Jodie Foster. We all could have laughed. All right. Uh, all right, good. All right, there we go. A lot of bass on that track. Uh, Oof. Gabby, you been doing comedy <laughs> based on that track. Oof. Gabby's a singer, an actress, and now she's ready to fail at comedy. She has a podcast about the apocalypse. She's desperately looking for the scenario where she can actually make it in this business. Can I stop you for one second? I love that your eyes close at every bomb. Yeah. But you, <laughs> you can't just put. You can't just say facts. <laughs> You can't, you can't. I don't think that well, was the start because, of it. That's because your tongue can't that stop your mouth. Joke, but... What what'd you say? <laughs> you said he can't say say facts, and I said it's because the tongue can't touch the top of his mouth. <laughs> Why do you have his mouth? Just making fun of the way you talk. I'm a giant tongue. Fat right. mouth. <laughs> I don't know. Yeah. Did you also say oof to my thing about the bass? Hmm? So my thing it made me furious. What? Yeah, he did go oof. He went oof to and, like, I and did he's too. about to fucking do six oofs in a row. Uh, write that down for the podcast name. Six roofs in a row. <laughs> Six roofs Oof. in a row. <laughs> Listen, dude, that that bass thing was stupid. No, you should call this podcast wherever you go. There you are. Go ahead. We won't call it that. It's too long. She's that. bored in denial in my own hairline. That's why I'm wearing this hat. All right. Uh, let's just say. <laughs> stop, 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 I wasn't stop, ready. Stop. <laughs> oh man. What's why? Why are you laughing? Stop. He said, "All right." Ah. <laughs> 
All right, go After ahead. the first thing didn't hit, I was like, this is just going to be rough. Right. Yep. yep. Yeah. Yeah. Is it now, I'm man? You're on stage. Uh, go ahead, go ahead. Yeah, someone from the audience can walk. Stop. I'm guessing. Uh, now, is the audience not mic'd? Or there? <laughs> no, no, you'll you'll hear in a second how mic'd they are. Is this rehearsal? <laughs> Hang on one second. No, this was actually practiced in the after, like, three in the afternoon. I oh, know. Go ahead. Here we you go. don't edit the podcast. <laughs> First one. Not anymore. <laughs> okay. Can I Mike, pause it also for one second? Because yeah. Mike isn't having fun there. So this is also where it starts to really hurt. Because on his face right there, he's already lost. And when you the audience feels <laughs> yeah. that. So now the audience, anytime you speak, is uncomfortable. <laughs> so now they really hate you. But wait a minute. If you, look, <laughs> if you look at his face right now, it's like... It's it's like please, uh, please don't please, say something funny. Please. Please. <laughs> please suck. <laughs> Uh, uh, that's please, why I told you be, before we even did this that she was going to win. So. Oh God, no! Listen, <laughs> listen, Mike. This is this is the funny. This is the best thing you can do right now yeah. is take this pounding you're about to take. Yeah. Go ahead. <laughs> that if he cuts carbs, he'd lose ten pounds. Yeah, it's super gross. You call your balls carbs. It's okay. They're both five pounds each. <laughs> It wasn't even really a. Uh, she was saying he has big balls. It's not. Yeah, even, which I didn't get. Yeah, but I mean, dad is in bond. Well, I was going to say, what she did was, I'll tell you right now, because I watch the show every week and I book the show and I... And, we get uh, it. You're fucking awesome. Go. So she <laughs> she just landed the joke. Mm -hmm. Simple as that. It was a joke that landed. She had rehearsed it. She had said it a hundred times a, in the mirror. Set a punch tag. Yep. Set a punch. Didn't even matter. It didn't yeah. make sense that much. Bing. It did. Because you're, you're tricking tonal. the audience. Yep. You're tonal. And that's what people do on, on these, t these late night sets. Doesn't even matter. It's not funny. They tonal. Yep. Bing, Thank you for bing. noticing. I appreciate it. <laughs> yeah. No substance. No, it doesn't matter if it's <laughs> funny or whatever it is. It's just bing, bing, boom. Boom, boom. And then the audience bing, goes. Bing, bing, boom. Boom, boom. And you keep them laughing. Right. Yep. But so that's Mike, important. Mike had no rhythm. If you watch what Mike does. No, Mike was just saying shit on a train. <laughs> I mean, it's like, <laughs> it's like if you give a baby a drum, yeah. like the beat that you ask a baby to play. Yeah, it was like, yeah, Gabby's <laughs> never going to make it. Yeah, it's because of her dad. <laughs> no, it's not a joke. That's but not even that confident. <laughs> yeah, it's like good. All right, let's see the rest of his bullshit. Joey, if you don't know who that is, you're not 50 years old. Um, Stop. Go back. And they're in the Rock and Roll Hall of Fame. Everyone knows who you Bon Jovi is. You got to go back because you missed the Bon Jovi line. Go, go, go. Go ahead. It's okay. <laughs> Here we go. But he is not even an important member of that band. Oh, He's Jesus. actually Did just the that? keyboardist. That's like saying you're the banjo player for Billy Joel. Stop. There's no banjo right. player in Billy Joel. That's the joke, but yeah. Yeah, but right. no, there's not a... You can't... <laughs> I didn't... Yeah, you're right. Listen, man. He's the banjo player. You you have to... Next time you have to roast, call me. I'll convince call, you not to do it. Call my... <laughs> <laughs> yeah, call anybody. <laughs> call my mom. <laughs> Jesus, Mike. Oof. That one was bad. And the fact, this is what sucks about the Rose Battle of the fucking sound effects guy. Just really hurts you. It's the sound that you would hear in your head if you could play the sound in your head. When he said that joke, like the banjo player for Billy Joel. Hey, you know what's funny? He really thought he was going to like nail alliteration. He's like, B I need a B word. Ban banjo. Banjo Billy Joel. Banjo Billy. That's going to yeah. kill. Was that Guaranteed. it? That's why I went alliteration, yeah. yeah it alliteration. wasn't even the punchline, though. I stopped. This is bumming yeah. me out. Can we watch a little bit of Deepu's topical stuff? <laughs> <laughs> Deepu's videos were the best. This isn't as bad, no, though. I'll tell you why. Because this is a real... You, you literally have never said these jokes before. So the problem is you should have prepared more. You're reading them off a thing, which makes me know that you didn't rehearse them, you didn't memorize them. I was writing them up until we started. That's a problem, dude. Then yeah. you got bodied on... And, and you should have. Let's go, let's I go. Mean, she fucking wrote them a week out. She rehearsed them, guaranteed. Oh, she, yeah, look, but I was booked a week out. So she's, that's what, she's not... Sorry, no, you, whenever you were booked at the same time, she, look, she's not reading right. off a sheet of paper. It's true. Yeah, no, you're right. right here we go. Here we go. Ready? Here we go. Hold on. Okay. I had more. I just stopped. Stop. Mike is from oh. San Antonio, Texas, where the only liberal things are his meal portions. <laughs> <laughs> Stop it. That's a good joke. It's. Yeah. A, I love. There's I two like more that. jokes in that one. I like that joke. Yeah, let's go. Hear the rest of it. Go. He. Uh, huh. Considers pro-choice only at a buffet. <laughs> he, actually, he considers an abortion just shitting to make room for dessert. 
That's right. a pretty good. Wow, was looking, so was right, look at right there, you knew. <laughs> that face is great. That's right a there, great face. Right there, he went, he looked at his paper and he looked at that bitch and he went, ah, fuck me. <laughs> look at both their faces. That's beautiful. Look at her. Look at that fuck you twat face. She's got, <laughs> she's got it. You felt right then. What did you feel? Uh, that you, I prepared a lot more. Right. Was, now, yeah. Gabby, this is also the first time you're ever getting laughs. So, how did that feel? <laughs> <laughs> Fuck you. <laughs> Consistently. <laughs> All right, good. <laughs> this better be good. Uh, you... <laughs> you lanky hooker. All right. You stop. Lanky hooker. Stop. Gabby, you come... can't. You can't just. Say... You cunt. You can't. you would have been better off saying you fucking cunt than, than lanky hooker. Well, I didn't want to do cunt jokes. It right. was That's also, what everyone does. Oh, so. I'll tell you what. I, I mean, we can really, I can really break Pl- it down. Why, please? That's also not him. Like, so he's doing like uh, uh, uh you you lazy hooker. Like, I don't think that Mike would ever call her a lanky hooker if they were just hanging out at having drinks, right? No. So it but. didn't come off. It right there. I'm going. I That's am, not his so. type of confidence. It's just not who he is. Yeah. Um, there's so much wrong with this. I mean, I... But so much right. <laughs> Look, if Mike did great or did good, uh, it, would we really be listening to this? We would never this? watch this. Better there's, this way. There's, I was trying to tell him on the phone when he was about to jump off his building that night. No. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> think like, Mike, watch out if there's people below. You do not want to ruin... <laughs> you don't want to kill someone. You don't want to ruin 15 people's lives. <laughs> <laughs> That's already in my sense, but good. it's fine. I got it. <laughs> but... Comes from Jersey trash, but they're also rich, which means they have a pool, but they still swim in their jeans. True. It also means that her dad is the kind of guy who's trying to score coke at a funeral. So he should be walking up here now. Stop, stop, stop. Uh, what did Voss say? He's walking up here now. <laughs> I fucking love Voss. Yeah. You know Bon Jovi. <laughs> but I, I, a butter I, joke would have been like, she has a pool, but they still swim in puddles. <laughs> the, the jeans part wasn't Slightly terrible. Better. He yeah. just, you know, it was that wasn't even a bad joke. Like it wasn't even terrible. It was just when when he delivered the second joke, he <laughs> still he went back to his sheet like he was reading more. Yeah. He's convincing the audience not to laugh in that moment. There's yeah. all the you got to stick the landing. You got to fuck. I'm telling you right now, that was a better joke than her first horseshit joke. She just re- <laughs> she rehearsed it and landed it and then hit the rhythm. There's so much that you don't even fucking realize that goes into yeah. it. And he was just so underprepared for this that you were gonna get bodied by almost anybody. I just don't know anyone that swims in their jeans. That's what I don't oh, get. Well, you don't know poor people, so you mean like cut off jeans, maybe? No, you, I've. Yeah. Anyway, it's, it's people in my swim life. Yeah, in because they jeans? don't have shorts. Oh. They have swim trucks. They just go in the pool in the jeans. That's and a then... very small group. I <laughs> people. I mean, Granted, it's, most... a, it's a poor people thing. You know? Yeah, I, you're going for a I mean, I grew up with poor people. No. I never saw anyone swimming in jeans. Most people jeans. Most people's jeans fit Mike like shorts. <laughs> That's what he's saying. Because he's I'm not tall. That tall. Yeah. Oh, God, that's Fat. Yeah. No, uh, it's a tall joke. You, you pulled a real me right yeah. there. I'm just telling you. I'm not telling you <laughs> how to do comedy. I'm just telling you my personal reaction. I've never heard of anyone swimming in jeans. I've never seen anyone swimming in jeans. I have a lot of poor friends. I grew yeah, up lower we, middle we, class. We get it. The joke sucks. I don't understand. <laughs> yeah, nobody's defending the joke. Yeah, nobody's I'm telling you <laughs> my perspective. We said it. What's I said here. it should have been a puddle. Or like nobody <laughs> under 50 knows who Bon Jovi is. They're internationally famous. They're huge. Pretty big right. man. That would make more sense if it was like, uh, you know, fucking ELO or somebody. What do you have to say, Rick? I, I wasn't even listening <laughs> at this point. Do you point. think this is bad? Rick is a great representative of the entire audience right now. <laughs> Rick is doing asshole kegels right now. Not listening. <laughs> you got you to keep it tight, man. <laughs> asshole kegels. Not as a top. <laughs> hey, you never Your know. asshole can be as loose as you I know, but I'm old. I'm just incontinent. <laughs> <laughs> it's not for sex, it's just for safety. Yeah. All right, here we go. Uh, okay. I think it's your okay. turn. Yeah. All right. Gabby, can I yeah. talk? Go, okay, Thank good. you, Jay and Silent Blob. <laughs> <laughs> That's great. Mike, you look like a lesbian jewel thief who lost the diamond to his gambling addiction. Uh, first one was good. Silent Blob is great. Her. Uh, you vapid receptacle. Stop. Uh, <laughs> did you like that, Rick? I did like that. Thank <laughs> you. That's not bad. Yeah, that was I fun. call somebody a receptacle. I, I literally yeah. heard it really doesn't matter what. what? The... It's like, it wasn't my fault. Uh, that, was that, that was good. That was good. I like that one. Sorry. <laughs> I was very proud of vapid receptacle. By the way, I think your act is great. <laughs> Thank you. This yeah. was terrible. I feel like I should... <laughs> 
keep that out there. Yeah, the only wait. thing I thought was Kill funny yourself. was ra- rapid receptacle in this whole thing. And yeah. Again. <laughs> Here's the thing. I know what I look like. I'm fat. I'm gross. I'm middle-aged. Keep going. I'm not likable. That's look Bobby's her. joke. She's beautiful, huh. right? She's rich. She has everything she could ever need, everything that she could ever want. But here we both are in the exact same place in this industry. The best she could do with all her advantages is be in the same place as a diabetic Mexican from Texas. <laughs> Stop. Shut up, Gabby's Stula. little laugh right there. Mm-hmm. <laughs> Is so fucking passive. <laughs> Look at the corner of Gabby's mouth in that fucking headshot. Oh. What, the dimple? No, it's just like a little smirk in the corner. It's mm-hmm. like. <laughs> Thank you. Yeah. Gabby's little laugh really has <laughs> such a fucking twatty move. Can we play that back just a uh, little bit? They don't have a 15 second thing, so. All right, go ahead. <laughs> okay, Bobby Kelly's kidney stone. <laughs> <laughs> you didn't write that. <laughs> <laughs> that That's was a good two one. insults in one. That was a good <laughs> one. <laughs> she, we know she what the joke. You. We got the joke. Yeah. Yes, I know. I know. I'm just saying that's how I appreciated oh, it twice. I'm gonna fuck you. Oh, I'm a top. <laughs> <laughs> I'm a top. <laughs> what, if, what if two tops get together? You just fight it out sideways. <laughs> <laughs> now, is it more pleasurable from missionary or doggy style? If you're the top, is it different? Or is it the same thing? Let's go. I don't want to get into this, please. Why not? I just want to hear this first. Can we not get into what you like? Uh, the only <laughs> possible way that Mike will get his picture on the comedy cellar wall is if he eats their biggest burger in under five minutes. <laughs> <laughs> That's good. That's really good. They will never let you on stage, but they will special order your T-shirt size. <laughs> Those are great. That's I'm great sorry, Mike. That. Those are killer. And that's it, right? Yeah. yeah. Those okay. are really good. Because it's not just that your jokes were bad. It was that hers were good. <laughs> <laughs> you know? The first one, but yeah. <laughs> yeah, she really killed me. Did somebody write for you, with no. you? Bobby said lesbian jewel thief once. I, and I wrote a joke around Now, is that, uh, is that, uh, is, your, are your, is your comedy that good? Or are you one of those people that can write roast jokes but stinks in comedy? I think my comedy is good. All right. We have that if you want to watch Shut it. Shut up, yeah. Mike. Let's watch no. a Gabby no, set. Don't. Yeah, I do. I have the Village Underground. So I mean, the Pussycat. You do. Yeah. yeah. Let's see no, Gabby's no, no, no. set. But I mean, I mean, you want to bring up her set? No, yeah. no, no, no. I don't no, want to do no, that no. to her. That's no, not nice. No. <laughs> Let's bring up. You want to bring up her set? No, I don't, who no. wants to bring up her set? I, not, I don't want to bring up her set. No fuck. <laughs> no, I'll tell you why. We won't critique. We can just watch. Well, I'll tell you why. Because the reality is, like, you know, her set is gonna stink. No. If it, well, here's the thing: is a roast battle is different, dude. You can yeah. go and bomb on a roast battle. I watch great Means comics nothing. fucking eat their dicks off Means on the nothing. TV show. It Means yeah. nothing. No. You're trying out the jokes for the first time. It's not a representation of who you are as a comedian. It, it's a representation of you fucking. You know, <laughs> if you did it that night. Yeah. And, and yeah. Mike, you didn't. Right. No, I did not. But yeah. like I mean, when we did the Voss roast, everybody killed. It was so much fun. But it was it was it, it's a little easier too because you like. Everybody. It's not a, it's a, not a, here's the thing. There's, There's not, not a competition. competition. Yes. You're entertaining a crowd. You entertaining like a crowd is different. This when, when I did last comic standing, you reminded me of this. The level of pressure where you're being judged and it's a competition. Yeah. And it's not just entertaining a crowd. You have this other thing where you're sort of going like, well, now I'm playing to judges and I'm playing to this competition. I'm trying to think about that. Yeah. It's a way different thing. Yeah. When you're doing a roast, you're just trying to fucking fuck with each other and make the crowd laugh. It's way, way, way less pressure. I'm going to say it without like really quick, so whatever he just did. It's because you like each other. No, that's, that's not what it. I said at all. No, I know, but it's what you meant. Ellen, no, it's the Illinois competition. Absolutely what you meant. It's, it's the battle, pressure. You like when you each other, ro- yeah, a roast when battle. Roast, yeah, a roast battle. Also, you, you, have, like you, each you other. have older. You have you they judging them. They don't like them. each other. They don't like each other. Those a lot people, of the time they do. They fucking. They're so mean to. That's the one thing about these roast battles. They're fucking vicious. The, they're, they're they're best friends sometimes. What are you talking vicious? about? Vicious. Yeah. yeah. They don't always like each other. No. No, That's not the case that night. There were some people that didn't like each other. It's not that they. But there's Deus people that don't like each other too. When. You don't like Lewis. You told me right before the show, before we got here. <laughs> yeah, but th- I told you to just shut the fuck up about that. Oh. <laughs> Jesus, now I'm glad he's fucking bumping you the whole show. No, he stopped. Oh, did he? Yeah, you've noticed I've started well, when enjoying are you get myself. Funny? <laughs> <laughs> what are you talking about? I had the one where the two girls couldn't see because you were too fat. <laughs> <laughs> and a couple others. Yeah, well, Mike, do you, I, I say they do it again. Uh, I, don't, I don't think I'm good at it. No, honestly, no. You're not. Well, you, you, no, that wasn't good. But if you took the notes that I just gave you, you could be good. You're a good joke writer. You're a good comic. Yeah, so. well, great I mean. could you great help comedian. Him? I mean, I, he doesn't need my help. He, if you he needs someone else's help. Yeah, he needs. 
You have somebody Joe, funny? Joe, why don't you fucking roast battle me, little bitch? I'll roast battle you. You want to roast battle? Oh, it's Joe. Joe. That'd be Joe. amazing. Joe, 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 Joe versus Lewis. Joe versus Lewis. You're the host. Joe versus Lewis. I'll come out of retirement to Woo! battle Joe. You're, you're the host. Do I'll it. Fuck up Joe, Joe come on. Fuck Ooh. yeah. You're the host. Do it, Joe. No. Fuck it. Teach him who's boss. Joe's really good, too. I know Joe's Joe's killer. I'll battle Joe List literally anytime he wants. Wow. That'd be amazing. Slapped you right in the face. All right, maybe we'll do it. I'm down. When? <laughs> hmm? I want to judge that one. Okay. No, it's unfair. Why? Well, because you guys have both have kids. What? what the fuck does that mean? <laughs> you might be biased. You guys way. both have herpes. Yeah. You don't have herpes. I don't do have you? herpes. You want it? No. Kids do. <laughs> I'm, a, I'm a top two. I don't want it again. Ugh. <laughs> 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 How funny was it when you sent the picture of your dick to me, but it wasn't your dick, it was Chrissy D's dick, and then I sent it to Chrissy D, and I go, Joe just sent me a picture of his dick, and he got mad. He goes, that's my dick. Oh, did he? Yeah, you never wrote back, so I didn't know the follow-up. You're so mad. He goes, that's my dick. That's yeah. so fucking funny. I got me too by Chris DeStefano about 25 times at Moon Tower. Oh, wow. It's just different dick pics? Yeah. Every morning, I would wake up to his dick. It's a nice dick. Well, stop sleeping in his room, fag. <laughs> Um, all right, whatever. <laughs> not cool. Wow. <laughs> I'm sorry, dude. It's not cool. You're talking about gayness. I'm not talking about him being a fucking pussy. I'm talking about him being a little bitch boy. You're saying, like, literally fag for gay, which is fucking highly offensive to <laughs> Mushy Mouth Mike. Ah, you fucking cocksuckers. Yeah, it'd be a great job. See, that's a, that's a word I approve of. I oh, do, you? Cocksuckers. Good. To the point. Well, Rick, I appreciate you coming on today, man. Uh, and I hope you move. You're throwing me out? Well, no, we're ending the show. Oh, we're gonna we wrap it up. It takes around forty minutes for me to wrap up. <laughs> it does. I, when we have to wrap up in like two hours, I have to do it. It takes around. It takes a long time. I see. I some, see. some. Lewis will say something else. Joe will say something. We'll go off on another tangent. Yeah. Joe will want to know how do you like it on the side or on the, your back? Sure. And then you know. I'm sorry, I'm just interested. And I'll show him. And you'll show him. <laughs> it, what is in this room out of all of the males in here? Which one would? You, which is your type? This is pretty obvious. Oh, really? <laughs> this is such a. Come this on. is such a... Come on. Say, who's, who's behind there? Stand up, Zach. Oh, you're too, you're, you're, no, he's you're, a hairy guy. He's too hairy. I don't yeah, like hair. He's a right. little... I don't like hair. Keep going. So, Rick, oh, come on, Rick. Rick. Well, it's, it's obviously Lewis. Come on, Rick. <laughs> is it really? Followed, yes. followed by... Uh, I'm Joe. fucking you. third or fourth? You're fifth, you you're fat not fuck. My I used to you're be, not my I used to be number one. Gabby's ahead of you. She has the type of chest he likes. From behind, she's my type. Uh, she has a type of chest. She really does have a Filipino boy She's chest. Got a nice, uh, <laughs> you know, I like it's a little Latino bit of guys, pictorial yeah. definition. <laughs> uh, <laughs> I don't know. Wait a minute. I mean, Rick. turn turn down the lights and maybe you're all a candidate. You know. So first he of all, likes black you, guys. we heard this earlier. You'd really go mm-hmm. Lewis, Joe, and then and what am I? Uh, then Mike and me, or are we at the same time? The bearded guy before you. I think jumping off the building before mm. us. But. Are you kidding me, Rick? No, uh, see, I'm I, fucking third. I have affection for you. Am I? <laughs> but but the I, romance is there. But I don't know if I want to physicalize it. You know what I mean? When the <laughs> fucking what the fuck? <laughs> Bobby, you'd be nine number one if it does anything for you. Thank you, Joe. Yeah. Thank You're you, welcome. Joe. You yeah. did talk about animal instinct. I, I would go. You know. Yeah, Lewis is a fucking animal. All right, we know you like <laughs> Lewis first. We get it. Can we move on from that? Can you stop uh, picking Latino him? man. Thanks, Rick. Fuck, come up with, you're coming up with nine different scenarios that you'd pick Lewis first. We get it. But are you actually jealous now? So yes. You, I want to know. <laughs> hypothetical? Am I, be, am I before Mike at least? Yes, Honestly. you're bu- you're before Mike. Am I before? Just because you're the host. No, no. Yeah. I don't want, first of all, I don't want you throwing me any fucking balls, okay? <laughs> I'm hairy, so yeah. you don't want that. It, it's too well, I, I don't like the hairy. I want to know. Am I before Mike? Yeah. You're talking before or after we watched him try to roast somebody? <laughs> <laughs> There's no way that was a turn on. <laughs> he that was so fucking brilliant. Yeah. Zach is not is after me, right? Oh yeah. How far is the drop off from Joe to me? Oh, <laughs> I got a good body too. Well, I work out about four drinks. Four. Wow! Wow! So you have to legally almost be dead. Yeah, and I haven't I haven't been drinking no, for so four good. years, so I mean, that would be like, <laughs> yeah. But wow. why 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 take this personally? I mean, I know, you know, I I'm, love you, and I would I would certainly like rub just, my dick under your neck or something. But I wouldn't. <laughs> He said he would titty uh, fuck your neck. I would titty. I would neck fuck your titty. Yeah, I would. I would. Fuck I, would I would fuck you between neck, fuck your titty. neck four and neck five. I, yeah. would. I wouldn't fuck you, but I would definitely like just play with it with my fingers. Fuck you, Lewis. Your you neck fat right Lewis, there. You wouldn't fuck me. 
I'm talking about your neck fat right now. Who would now. you fuck in the room, <laughs> guy wise? Who's first? Um, Who's first? Um, I'm a silver see. daddy. Who's, I'm going to say, why not, why not Rick? Because Rick is a top, and I'm not letting Rick fuck me. It's ridiculous. No, but we don't have to fuck. <laughs> just kiss a little? <laughs> you already have to suck. Or a lot. Sucking dick is, you, I hear you're good at it. Oh, yeah, we can just 69 a little. All right, so who's yeah. first? And Rick I is also significantly older than you. And he could be your right. father. That's right. You could always get that father <laughs> that you always wanted. <laughs> well, yours is dead. I poppy C. I'd like to hear it. Um, <laughs> Joe's got herpes. Yeah. My asshole doesn't have herpes. <laughs> <laughs> I got... I got genitals. <laughs> yeah, but I, we gotta suck each other's dicks a lot to like. I, I, I like a lot of oral sex in order to get me going. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah. But, they're act- but okay. wait, yeah, it's, it's only what? shedding eight percent of the days out of the year. Eight days out of the year. Eight days out of the year, your yeah. dick sheds. Yeah, <laughs> it's on the floor like a snake. <laughs> <laughs> but it gets bigger every time. Like a snake. <laughs> <laughs> It's only uh, what? No. Every eight you can days? blow me. You won't get Hold anything. On, what is eight, eight times a year? Mean? What does that mean? At times, like that's when you can get it. If we fucked, when if I fucked you, he gets herpes the eight virus. times. The, the the little red nugget on no, his no, dick. No, no, I don't even get it. That's when it sheds. That when it's it spreads around. How do you know? When How you do you get know? It? You don't. You don't know. That's part of the fun. <laughs> <laughs> or you get an outbreak. When you get an outbreak, you can't be. We can't be fucking. So that it's a good movie. <laughs> it's pretty good. With all due respect, sir. Fuck oh, you. Okay, so so Lewis, <laughs> then Bobby. Lewis, who, who's the first one? Who's the first one? Me. No, he said Lewis, me. I'm asking no, Lewis. Not, I'm not taking herpes from you, dude. You're not hot enough. Yeah, All right, pretend fucking, the herpes isn't stop there. Stop forcing him into you. But what he was saying is Joe has herpes. That's the one reason. Yeah, He's you saying, still have Obviously, him. I'm the answer, but no, herpes. No, you then still the other problem is like, I feel like if you tried to blow me, you would just grate the top and bottom <laughs> on my dick with your teeth because you couldn't open your mouth hard enough. I would not get herpes from a blowjob. I would not be able to blow you. Plus, you hate getting bumped. I wouldn't be able to blow. Yeah. Look at this. Right. Yeah, you'd have to do too much coaching. Oh, Jesus you got Christ. a small mouth. No, I could never be gay. Oh, my God. Like somebody give me a forcep. <laughs> i got to open his mouth. Oh, my God. <laughs> That's all we go. Is that as, as open as it goes? Yeah, it hurt to do that. Do, uh, go what do you got? Wow. No, it's not <laughs> really. <laughs> That's not no really way. size. No, it's not. <laughs> really no. open your mouth. No, no fucking way. It's open as wide. No, it's not. It goes wider. 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 All right. That's it. No, no sir. No, <laughs> no. Stop it. I swear to God, I have a type 2, bro. <laughs> you can't open your mouth. I got a type 2. <laughs> and it hurts my feelings. I got a type uh, 2 dick, so my whole fit perfect. <laughs> you have type 2 diabetes. <laughs> <laughs> you can suck dick in China. Ooh, that was uh, great. All right, good. Who would you pick? That was good. What? Um, let Come me see on. your let me Zach, let me see your body. What? Let Let's, me see. Uh, this is real. Let's let me see. <laughs> <laughs> what are you? P- pick up your shirt. Oh, what's wrong with you, Zach? Pick don't... it up. Let me see your stomach. Oh, no. Zach, let me. This is how it starts. Let me see your fucking body, Zach. <laughs> Zach, I'm, Zach, I'm not asking. I'm telling you. Let me see. Oh, oh my! God. I want to see your stomach definition. That's a carpet. I was just afraid we're gonna see a racist. Because I can shave this fucking hairy asshole. No. No. Nobody wants to see that. We don't want people to turn off. Make a choice. You got enough. You we don't have, have the DJ intel. to make funny sound effects to make that worthwhile. <laughs> you have enough intel. Who would you? Who's your first pick? <laughs> Between you and Rick, I guess. Really? Oh. Wow, you got a daddy fetish. It's not a daddy fetish. A daddy. No, yeah, I just happen to be. I gotta a, choose I have... one. These are my fucking options. Look at this. It's like ghouls. I happen to be a handsome. <laughs> it's a fucking nightmare. This is like literally. I'm in the gates of hell, and Satan's like, "Where you're gonna spend the rest of your days doing one of these things? I gotta pick one." All right. It's a fucking uh, nightmare. I think we have a sim- scenario. <laughs> we have a yeah. simpatico relationship. I did the sound of music. You f- said hey. nigger. I mean, that's hey. a- <laughs> Stop trying to fucking cock block me, you fucking old right. silverback. Fine. <laughs> Fine. I'll go back on grinder. <laughs> <laughs> I think I go with Bobby, and I'll tell you yes! why. I'll break, yes! I'll tell you why. Thank you, Louis. Number J. one, Gomez. I'll tell you. Okay. I, I, Kim, you don't know him anything. I'm going to tell you right You're now. You're my baby girl. He would like it. <laughs> he would like it a little too much. And now he's a top. Hold on, well, Bobby you, would I'm like it too much. I'm a no, top Bobby too. wouldn't like it that much, and I'm a rapist. Yeah. Uh, yeah. So oh, I see. Yeah. That I would would turn me on more to I rape to Bobby yeah, to fight. than to have I've, sex with you. Yeah, yeah I wouldn't and, like to be raped either. Yeah. yeah. All right. So now, Joe, right. who would you pick? I already told. I start. I started this. You who, dumb who, dumb. Who, who would you? Uh, who? <laughs> You're my number one. That's how it just started. I'm your number. Who's your number two? Um, come on. I don't know. Would you just lick your lips? Lewis would be moving <laughs> too much. He'd be fucking swinging yeah, around. That's why you'd tapping. fucking come in like a minute. Good point. <laughs> Why did you just leave? He went like this. You went, I go, who's your number two? Lewis went. <laughs> now, Lewis, I don't, I, Lewis is too much. He'd be too, it'd give me anxiety. No, so, you, so do, you don't you like do. him touching your knee. I know. Imagine. So you'd go, you'd go with Rick. <laughs> 
Number two. Or Mike. Probably Rick what two. Zach? Zach is Lewis, three. Three. Lewis, Lewis is powerful. That would be kind of hot. Yeah. Like a wide <laughs> I put, no, I do, I put, here's what I do. I put your legs up on my shoulders, and I'd fucking uh, put your legs together, and i put it in your butt like that. Oh, oh, you're, no, we're doing butt. the fucking. No, no, I'm fucking you. Whoa. Then it's Lewis number one, then. <laughs> I'm out. No. Well, I'll fuck you. I'll fuck fucked. you right now. With a two? Know. He's going to fuck you. Yeah, yeah. You like that. Yeah. Mm. What about me fucking you? <laughs> no. Why, you want to fuck You're me? You're too sweet. I'm going to fuck you. <laughs> I'm too sweet. Rub your sweet. head. <laughs> oh. Mike, who do you want to fuck? Uh... A buffet table. Yeah. Uh, <laughs> now you're funny. <laughs> um, it's Mark Cohen's show. Now you're funny. Oh, my God. Uh, I don't ever thought about that. I guess Bobby first, then... Do you think we all thought about who we wanted to fuck first? <laughs> Yeah, actually, actually I've listened you know, to the podcast right, several times. I know, so. I think this is like the ninth time we've done this exactly. Yeah, yeah. Fucking makes See, me... Bobby, when you were, that picture of you on the wall, remember yeah. you from the 80s? You were the fucking oh. number one. Oh. Number one. Fuckable, fuckable, fuckable. Yeah. Oh, well, my God. Maybe if you made a move back then, we wouldn't have this conversation yeah, now, I know. Now, we, <laughs> yeah. now we'd have a history. <laughs> <laughs> An ugly, <laughs> ugly history. And I'd definitely, I'd definitely be in your movie more. <laughs> All right, Gabby, Soder's not great. here, so... <laughs> Gabby, did you look up at Soder? No. I didn't think he was gay until I fucked him. No. <laughs> but he's your number one, but he's not here, so. So who's going to win it. this time? I don't, I don't so worry. I'm, not, I'm out. I'm hit out. me with it. I don't want to. Gabby, I would, can't Bobby will get mad at me. Gabby no, but you can pick between Lewis and Joe. Go ahead. Mm. Be, uh, Joe, Dan, Lewis, or Joe. I'm going to take my shirt off. It's obviously Dan. Take your shirts off, and then we'll see. No, I'm not oh. in shape. Give me two months. All right. <laughs> well, there's your answer. You okay, cool. Joe. Thank you. You would take Lewis. herpes versus fucking me. Just pretend. It's, it's a condoms. lie. It's just a lie. <laughs> it's a dirty lie. What do you want me you, to say? You've been saying give you two months for you years. You can't get it twice. No, I'm actually, I have a fight. I'm fighting at Ellis Mania. I'm fighting Are Ryan really O'Neill. Oh, cool. And Joel, okay, I Lewis. Are you fighting for real? Yeah. Oh, Jesus. Joe, prove yourself one more time. So I will drop back. your clothing off at the Salvation Army. <laughs> <laughs> your best stuff. <laughs> Still with Lewis. <laughs> <laughs> are you back with Lewis again? <laughs> what the fuck? That's yeah. not a, that didn't turn yeah, me off. Well, are I, I we think, gonna play? Are we gonna play think, a game? I think she likes you. If she doesn't like me. Here's the thing, though. I would sort of be like a fantasy of hers, like a bad boy. I can't do it, but like you know, she probably masturbates to me sometimes. No. Sometimes. Well, look at me. Look at him. No. <laughs> never. No. Not even once. You've never been masturbating. Then once I've come into your head. No. It is now. From now on, it is though. <laughs> Next time she's masturbating, I promise you, now my face is going to come into her head because she's not going to be able to forget this conversation. And I'm going to stop. I'm going to be like, oh, fuck. Because you just came. Oh, you, you, you never rub one out to Dan. No, why are we talking about that? What this? do women rub yeah. things out to? What's the last thing you rubbed one out to? Oh, uh, uh, Porn? I have to think about it. Online shopping. Saving a tree. <laughs> Dan. Oh you did? <laughs> you masturbated to Dan. No. You know you did. No. I don't think girls just masturbate to the thought of a dude. Like, yeah. could, could you? I like, don't either. Just the thought of a, a man that you think is hot. Like, could you be like, oh, I'm gonna come up with a fantasy in my mind and masturbate to like a? Yeah. Really? Yeah. That's crazy. That's crazy. To Why me. is that crazy? I, How's need, that crazy? I need something I physical. Do that, I do that all the time. I need something physical. I need either to have seen her. Well, you have to have like a piece of the hair in your hand. <laughs> <laughs> just fucking, just seri- fucking conjure it. Wolves. <laughs> Voodoo <cunt>. doll. <laughs> you fucking cunt. I have to behead a chicken Voodoo and doll. bathe in its blood. <laughs> Jesus. Um, no, I uh, yeah, I need something physical. I need to have either hooked up with her, um, really? have seen her naked. I, I, I feel the same way. Yeah, I can't just go like, oh, that chick's hot, and I'm going to go masturbate yeah, thinking about her. I feel the same way. I can't just be like, ah, Courtney Cox. No imagination? No. I mean I, really. I mean, I don't watch porn, but it has to be like an experience I what have. What do you mean you don't watch porn? Very rarely. Why? Can't afford it. For the same reason. It doesn't do anything. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah, it does. It ruins the lives of those young girls. I'm doing quite well financially, so that one didn't really. Can you stop being? He just take the hit. It was funny. It's a joke, dude. We're all doing it right. We're, we're all doing all right. We're not. We're, we're doing good. We're doing you know, all right. We all know that everybody's all right. I mean, can't afford. Gabby's not really ugly. Mike's not really a bad comic. Bobby's not real. All right. <laughs> that hurt. <laughs> you try it. That was fun. I mean, I disagree with the setup, but that was fun still. <laughs> this show is just brutal. Uh, Ricky, yeah. your, sh- your your movie is... Uh, Philadelphia? Uh, <laughs> <laughs> I see what you did there. <laughs> do, you, do you own a sailor's costume? <laughs> I had one, but I ruined it. <laughs> <laughs> 
<laughs> the, <laughs> the, knees, the knees were on. Listen, uh, yeah. Rick, your movie's amazing. People need to go see it. Now, what is the night that we can go and support, and how do we donate to this GoFundMe? Tell us all about all this. All right, that's going online. The The link becomes live May 10th. We're doing a thing uh, on uh, May 15th, which is Tuesday. Next Tuesday. Tuesday over at the Village Underground, Rick Rome and Friends. ComedySalad.com. Right now to buy tickets for it. Yes, it's up on the website. Mm -hmm. All right, the name of the show: uh, Rick Crom and Friends. Rick Crom and Friends. It's going to be uh, Judy Gold's going to be there. A lot right. of people from the movie. Uh, and uh, who else? Uh, Judy Gold. Then we've got uh, Bill Burr. Uh, no, he, he's in L.A. Keep going. And we got Modi that is going to be on it. Yeah. We got. Uh, um, uh, There's a whole list Jim of people. David. Jim, Jim David's David. in it. Uh, Charles McBee's in it. You don't know Charles. But uh, okay. uh, then uh, I think uh, Judah, I gotta, you know what? I got to look and see. You got a whole list Just of people. Just go look because the, the people are getting on, getting on board the now. The best comics at the cellar in New York City yeah. who are in the movie uh, or, or support you are going to be there. It's going to be yeah. an amazing show. Go buy it. It's going to sell out. It's probably half sold already probably. or close to it. So all the money goes to raising money to get the rights right. to <clears throat> to put this on a Netflix or a show. Right. We're, we're kicking off the, the GoFundMe and uh, raising awareness. And it'll be a fun night. It'll and if you can't night. go. And we're going to show clips from the film, too. Show clips. There's going to be Rick's going to host it. I'm going to host it. You're going to be singing songs. Oh, if, you, yeah, if they insist, of course. Why not? Dirty uh, songs. Uh, dirty songs. Yeah. yeah. And then uh, Rick's going to be fucking a black guy and calling him slave names. Uh, well, that's the finale. I yeah. don't want to give too much away. <laughs> we we, I sing Old Man River, but we yeah. replace River. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I don't want to go into detail. I don't want to give it away. Okay. Hey. But uh, spoiler alert. Yeah. <laughs> and then next month at the Soho Film Festival, you'll see it on the O'Rick website, what the dates are. And it's O'Rick.com. That's O'Rick.com. Yeah. Please go there. Support this. He did this, uh, him and, uh, what's his name again? Dustin Sussman. It was Dust his idea. His idea. They've been working on it. It's a work of uh, of love and passion, and Rick has always been there. Nice guy for me. Love him. Funny guy. Go support Rick Crone, please. All right, now, Bobby, you'll be you'll be my first. Well, it's too late for that. <laughs> um, <laughs> uh, it really bugs me. Everybody pick Lewis first. Uh, Joe, I picked you I first. I picked you first. Yeah, I was in between the two. That was picked you, you picked no, me you first didn't. because Some, he bugged even. you. It's even. It's even. You picked me first it's because even. he bugged you. No, I okay, started the whole thing. Yeah, but you weren't <laughs> real about it. I was real. You know, if you really had to fuck somebody, it would be Lewis. I know it would be. He was bugging you today. That's why you, you picked me out of spite of him. Hmm. Anyways, um, <laughs> who's the better kisser though? Oh, oh, I can kiss. We've already. Joe, you I cannot can kiss. kiss. You have a tiny shit mouth. <laughs> no, my lips are fine. No, it's I have terrible. A small, I don't have to you swallow. You have small, shitty lips. We've Gabby, already, we've already, already fucking Gabby. Who would you rather? Other. Who would you rather kiss, me or Joe? Oh, that's hard. Come on, Gabby. no, it's not. Gabby. He has big lips. You have a small mouth. <laughs> mm. I got small. I'd rather but spend I my life lips. with Joe. You that's know? fine. I know Joe is probably going to be more successful. He's so sweet. His breath smells like dog shit. No, I got my tooth fixed. I got my tooth fixed. I mean, my breath smells great now. You got it fixed? It's so hard. Yeah, got to pull that out of my mouth. All right. Two years ago. That's great. The tooth? mics aren't going to stay anymore. I had a anymore. dead tooth. That's it was disgusting. brutal. <laughs> it was brutal. I remember that. Yeah. Remember we got... Remember we you had, had an intervention. You had a tooth intervention for we me. We had a tooth intervention because <gasps> I, had, I had a fucked up tooth and I was in. I was doing. And I had no idea. He's like, "Dude, your breath stinks." I was like, "My breath doesn't stink." And then everyone in the room looked down at their shoes. And I was like, oh, fuck. <laughs> but then we, had, we my had, breath stinks. We had a dentist from the Bronx. <laughs> yes, remember, Miguel Damel's dad. He, he did. He did shit in his apartment in the Bronx. And he did he it do was, it? No, no, no. I went uh, to a real dentist. Okay, good. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Good for you. <laughs> did, you but, did you keep the tooth? No, it, oh, yeah. it shattered out in a little fucking oh, pieces. I would have loved to have the, oh, have, We could have made a necklace out of that smelly thing. Oh, it was brutal, dude. Um, it was bad. I had a dead tooth. It was, yeah. But now, my my friend, I got a great smile. Yes, <laughs> yeah, you do. I got beautiful lips. Let me see. Nice. Yeah? So, Gabby, there's no... I, Joe's not going to beat me in the fucking hey, who you want to make out Lewis, with competition. Kiss, oh, kiss so Mike for a bit. No, I'm not kissing Mike. Just I'm kiss not... him on the cheek real quick. No, just I don't want Rick to come over the place. Just kiss each other and then I'll decide <laughs> in my, my mind. No. Just be dust and ash. <laughs> Would you give like Rick a, a kiss volcano. right now? No, you guys kiss dead. him and we'll have a good time. Again, because I'll get me too. I'll get me too. All right, get a napkin, you fucking lumpy... You know what? Greatest show. Here, I'm sorry. Do you want me to use this? Oh, my God. No, 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 no. Right behind you, you asshole. You're just a gorilla. <laughs> One of the funniest shows you've ever done. You ruined it by Dude. now. You took out the whole computer system. That's all right. It's a cheap fucking <laughs> keyboard. It's brand new. No, it's brand new. It's keyboard's gorgeous. cheap though. It's all brand new. It's no, 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 brand new. Forty bucks. It's not forty bucks. It's thirteen. <laughs> 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 um, all right, Joe. What do you got? 
I got herpes. <laughs> so could ask for anything more. Oh, I'm on uh, season two of the stand-ups on Netflix. Unbelievable. Right now. Yeah. It's streaming live. Hold on, um, hold on. I got I, I think I wrote down some dates earlier. Um, we got your dates right here. I'm coming, but I haven't updated my website. I gotta do that. Uh, I'll be at the Syracuse Funny Bone June seventh through ten. And then I'm we at Denver you. Comedy Works, June fourteenth through the sixteenth, mm. Montreal Comedy Nest. June 28th to the 30th. So Denver, Montreal, Syracuse, all coming up. Are you doing Just for Laughs this year? No, I'm in Dublin. So, I'm doing oh, Vodafone. So, okay, so you're going to be in Montreal the week be- before Montreal. Or during Montreal. No, a few weeks. That's June. July. Oh, yeah, July. Yeah, okay, yeah. I'm in Montreal, Comedy Nest, June, yeah. All right, man. And, Joe, uh, thanks for coming on. Thank you. You're the best. We got a big, uh, we got the uh, Bushcraft Party Boys week uh, night coming up. You got to get your tent. Yeah, I'll I got help, it. I'll help you pick that stuff after the show. Okay, great. Also, yeah. they have their Patreon. Yes, Joe's Patreon. Tuesdays with oh, stories. Go, Tuesdays with stories. There you go. Uh, all right, let's go. Uh, Louis J. Gomez. Uh, GomezComedy.com. I, I love that website. Let me cool. see that. Go Those back. are old ones, yeah. Let go back. Let me see it. I like yeah, it. I got to update that, too. I like that. Who did that? Uh, it- my, bu- my buddy Bobby Hutch did the, uh, the graphic, and then um, my other friend John Madigan. To the website, great. put it Let's together. Go. Uh, yeah, go to my website. I, I'm not. I'm not doing any road stuff until after Skankfest. <laughs> <laughs> until after Skankfest. But I'm. I'm putting together a tour for this fall. I'm going everywhere, including England, I believe. So uh, look. Good day, mate. Hello, 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 Lewis. hello. The Puerto Rican We got dead right teeth now. too. <laughs> Uh, Skankfest, it's officially on sale, guys. We're very close. There's only, I think, by the time this comes out on iTunes, it might even be sold out. Yeah. So get your tickets right now if you're watching live. Hopefully, there's still tickets available. Skankfestnyc.com. It's a two day long party, uh, nonstop, just hanging out. Four different stages. It, it's it's unlike any other comedy festival in the world. I'm telling you right now, Bobby, you've done it before. You did it two years in a row. This is your third year coming back. It's uh, it's actually really a fucking great hang. I mean, the the shows are great. I mean, of course. But the hang is, I had to leave, and I wound up staying like three hours yeah. extra. I was I was supposed to go home and do a bunch of shit, and I just, I literally walked out, and I was like, eh, fuck that. Yeah. And I walked back in and lit up a cigar. I hung out for another three hours. Yeah. It was a blast. We got a new venue this year, three times All as big. All fans are crazy. hanging out. Uh, the my, my favorite comics in the world are, are there. It's one of the coolest hangs ever. So Where is it? It's, it's going to be at Brooklyn Bazaar uh, July oh, 14th sick. and 15th. Yeah, it's you a come huge... Do, sh- do something. Do Rick, some I would piano. love to have you on, dude. It's when so much it? fun. July 14th and 15th. All right, I'll take a look. Yeah, you should, dude. It's, 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 really, it's really a fun time, and I'm telling you right now, it's unlike any other experience. I've been to all these comedy festivals. It's definitely unique. Um, also, you know what I want to do one time? At the, the, see, uh, if It might be queer, but if we could watch... Uh, <laughs> We should just pick a movie and we all watch it together and just fucking heckle the movie. Yeah, well, do you like Mystery Science Theater? Yeah, something like that with some cool movie or I'm something down. like that. We we do, well, that. we do why, why can't we do live? Why don't we have? Why didn't you have Dave do his porn thing from there? What? Watching porn. Remember that show? Oh, Dave's That's old porn. That's his again. Dave's old porn. You should, you should do that at Skankfest. We was should all about, go watch. He was talking about f- doing the uh, the card, the game show that he made. Possibly. Oh, fucking! Oh my awesome. god, that was unbelievable. Yeah. Should do that. You should yeah. get. You should fucking get that. We're this on year. it, baby. Don't you worry. Goddamn comedy jam is coming back. <laughs> Naked roast battles coming back. We got a lot of crazy shit. I'm Naked f- roast battle. Yeah, Nate, you want to do it? Oh. Say yes. Say yes. No, no, no. Say oh. yes. no pictures. No cameras. Nothing. No, no. no. Yeah. Is the audience Michael naked do it, too? Though. No, 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 just the... Uh, just the yeah, gonna, it's going to suck, because you, you know she's got some weird mole somewhere that we're all going to puke on. Yeah. <laughs> some fucking big black mole on her left cheek. From all my sunburns. <laughs> uh, yeah, so yeah, check out my other right. podcast. And me and you uh, got a big show coming up. Malicious. <laughs> yeah, oh yeah. What, Tampa? I'll, I'll, I'll plug it, I'll plug it. Yeah, uh, yeah, guys, Legion of Skanks, Real Ass Podcast, and Believe You Me uh, are my podcasts. So go to gasdigitalnetwork.com. You guys can go subscribe if you want all the exclusive content, but you can get all the podcasts for free right at gasdigitalnetwork.com. Very funny, dude. Thanks for coming on, dude. Good That's to funny. see you. Uh, all right, Mike, what do I got? All right, man. Uh, well, why don't you have a shout-out for the Patreon, first oh, of please. all? Oh, please, yeah, go to Patreon. All you Patreon, we do. Go. What's his name? Uh, Pat. It's Is it on Slack. the thing? Yeah. Oh, it's on my... Check this out, you guys. Patreon, uh, I just want to thank you guys for joining my Patreon. We have Live from the Shed. We just shot two more episodes. Keith Robinson, Russ Meyerson, one of the biggest casting agents in New York City, Emmy Award winning casting agent, came up to my shed. Uh, We did a great show with him. Uh, Keith Robinson came up. 
It was unbelievable. This now, in two weeks, we have Ron Bennington, the great Ron Bennington's live from the shed. The show's going great. The fans, you're amazing for uh, for uh, being part of my channel. I got a one on one up there, Lewis. We're doing a one on one. I want to do it this week. I got to do it right now. Uh, uh, me and Lewis are going to do a one on one. I got one with Joe up there right now. So go to uh, <laughs> patreoncom Robert Kelly. Make sure you become a member today. If you are a member of right this this uh, what is it? What's it called? Lipson. Uh, the you know what, dude? Premium thing where you donate a dollar or whatever. Get off. Cancel it. Stop. Listen to me again. Get off. Go to patreon.com slash Robert Kelly. Become a member there. Support me over there. It's the same thing. They have different tiers, but it's the same exact thing. You get the podcast Wednesday night. You get live from the shed. You get the one-on-ones. We got some other stuff that's going up there that's original content only for Patreon members. Again, patreon.com slash Robert Kelly. Go there. Join today. Get off Libsyn if you're up Libsyn. Just get off of it. Figure it out. Don't text me. I don't know. How to, just There's a thing in the app. Just unsubscribe and go over to the Patreon. I want to thank um, right now Pat Burke. You are the shit. The ultimate dude. You know what, dude? I donated $25. Huh. Dude, Pat Burke, you're the man. Thank you for becoming a member of the channel. Uh, I hope you enjoy everything. If you, uh, uh, I'm going to uh, do a... We're going to be doing live video from there, too. So I just figured out... Me and Zach are going to figure out how to do live video to Patreon channel uh, members only. So that's coming, too. we got a bunch of new stuff happening. What else do we got, Mike? All right. You're going to be at Treehouse, May 12th. Treehouse Comedy in Westport, that's this, Connecticut. If you're listening live, it's this Saturday night. I'm with Brendan... Uh, Brendan... Uh, Sagalo. Sagalo. No, I know. I'm kidding. I got a Friday. Uh, Sagalo, who I loved, who killed this weekend at uh, Bananas Comedy Club. So then we got... And then I'm going to a Good Night Raleigh's... Is that it? Good night. Is that good what's nights going? in Raleigh, North Carolina? Good Charlie Good Nights, isn't yeah. it? I thought it was Charlie Good Nights. Oh, it's just Good Nights now. All right, Charlie. good. I'm going to be in North Carolina. I'm going to Westbury Theater with Rich Voss. Uh, I got McCurdy's uh, uh, in June. I am at the Vermont Comedy Club on June 15th. Uh, again, I'm at. Uh, I got a bunch of pussy cat stuff. I'm at the Laughing Skull, Georgia, June 27th. In Atlanta, I'm at Cap City for the first time in June, the 28th to the 30th, Comedy Shop, and then uh, Just for Laughs, the 18th until the 29th. I will be hosting the Nasty Show Ooh. at Just for Laughs, and uh, I'm doing a gala, and I'm doing a live YKWD from up there. And then uh, me, uh, I'm doing the Calta Cruise. This, if you haven't been on the Calta Cruise, you should go on it. I'm doing the Mike Calta Cruise, and then me and Louis Gomez, Louis J. Gomez, uh, Louis J. Gomez <laughs> uh, are doing uh, Tampa. Oh, I just uh, did it last the eleventh through the thirteenth. So Thursday, Friday, Saturday. He's the late show, so they, they yeah. Come out to those. He's doing Saturday. He's doing the Late Show headlining, and he's also no. I'll, I'll plug your. I'll, I'll, of course, I'll plug your shit, but um. Yeah, so he's actually headlining one of the nights or two of the nights. So make sure you buy. Uh, if you're a fan of mine and a fan of his, buy go to go to the show, my show, and and, and try to get one of his shows too. If you can, if you can't, just go to my show. But um, <laughs> or I'll never bring him again. How's that sound? I'll never. No, I'm kidding. Um, so go check out robertkellylive.com. I got a brand new website going up this week with a bunch of new stuff on there. What else? Uh, we got Mike. What do you have? Uh, this coming in week, if you're watching live, I'll be at Laugh Out Loud in San Antonio with Big J. Okerson. Great show. Yeah. Great uh, club. And Mike is hilarious. Yeah. I'll be, Sucks at roast battles. Yeah, Super funny comic. Oh, real quick. I mean, I just want to say, I mean, Gabby did an awesome job. I think she should really look into doing roast battle. She did really well. Thank She's you. She's someone who should really, like, she'd be one of those killers on there, like up there with Rosebud and all yeah. those other guys. Yeah, I think she was, she was awesome. Good, uh, what a nice thanks, guy. Thanks, Mike. Sorry, Mike. I love you. Oh, thank you. <laughs> you're turning what a nice red. guy. <laughs> you're remaining um, red. Now oh, he's blushing. Uh, yeah, I kind of am. Uh, I don't know. <laughs> I feel I just I'm not good at being mean. You know what, buddy? You are good at being mean in your uh, in comedy. That sense, in in that your sense. comedy. You're yeah. you know what? Roast battling is not for everybody and you know that and just fucking who gives a shit. Yeah. But it was fun. I appreciate Lewis giving me the chance and to Dude, find out what I'm not good at, but still. It's fucking great. Dude, you're going to look back on that bomb every month cuz we're going to play it on the show. Oh yeah. Every month. <laughs> There'll be so many drops. <laughs> oh, I can't wait to have just I want I want the next show ending with his one of his jokes. Uh, Go ahead. <laughs> and then uh the in two weeks, I'll be at the <laughs> El Paso Comic Strip Good. with Nick Guerra, and um, they have us back for doing nerdcore comedy at Project Acon in Dallas in uh, June. Yeah, if you haven't seen Mike, please check him out. I'm going to try to Hilarious. promote some of my shows uh, coming up. Uh, Gab, what do you got? 
I have my monthly show at the Way Station in Brooklyn, May twenty yeah. third. Is it called um, your time of the month? That's a yeah. great show for. Uh, That's a good idea. A great name for. No, a show. it's called Jiggy with it. Um, and then I started a new podcast <laughs> with Katie Hannigan called A Podcalypse. So check that out oh. uh, too. That's a good one. Uh, All right, Zach, what do you got? Zach, the new guy. Zach, the new guy. I had to say it again there. Well, you really didn't. We got it. <laughs> no. Uh, you guys are the best fans in the world. Thank you for listening to everybody on this podcast. If you see any of these people live comedy near you, please go support us. Do our live stand up. That's what we do. Go check it out. These shows are always for free, but our stand up, we need you to support us. So thank you, all the fans that came out this weekend at Banana, YKWD fans. And uh, and make sure you mention YKWD to these guys when you see them. We'll see you next week. You know what, dude? What's up, guys? Thank you for watching slash listening. If you want to come in as audience members, email ykwdproducer at riotcast.com. If you want to send us fan art, uh, love letters, printed out nudes, send it to 117 McDougal Street, New York, New York. Yeah, print them out. Put them out print on paper. Print them out on a, in a laser <laughs> printer and then put them in a manila envelope and then send them to us. Yeah. <laughs> and cut out the eyes. I want blank eyes on No, those. I, wa- I want to see the look, the dead look in your eyes. So <laughs> keep the eyes. Well, keep the eyes for her pictures <laughs> and cut out the eyes for my pictures. And you can follow us on Instagram at YKW Dude Podcast. Make sure you follow us on there. Uh, we're working on getting them all combined, so we'll see what happens with that. But like YKW Dude Podcast is when you see what's going on. If you were, uh, follow Robert Kelly at Robert Kelly Live Instagram. If you, if you see him live, take a picture with Bobby. Uh, tag him in it. Tag us in it. We want to see what you do. Uh, if you have any fan art, uh, tag us on that as well. Mm-hmm. And follow Gabby at Gabby is Brian. And follow Mike at Mike B. Suarez. And that's it. Uh, bye.